The following is a presentation of Palmetto State Media Group. Bearcat football lives here. Tonight's game is brought to you by Simply Southern Realty, Beth Branham Law, Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa, Brickett, Brickett and Burkett CPAs, Creekside Restaurant, Lorex Auto Repair, So Everly Perfect Photography, West Metro News, Trey Bray for Casey Mayer, Working Together for Change, Lynn Ritz Contracting Company, Grants Cooling and Heating, Farm Bureau Insurance Agent Stacy Sizemore, and by the City of West Columbia. Now, live from Tonight's game is the voice of the Bearcats, Mike Higgins. The Bearcats cruised into the second round of the playoffs after a 42-20 win over Lake City. The special Bearcat offensive line paved the way for 414 yards of rushing on the night. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Higgins alongside my broadcast partner tonight, Trey Jackson, who's sitting in for Kurt Pichy, and welcome to Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Broadcasting live from Fort Knox here in the second round of the state playoffs. Tonight, the Bearcats with a chance to become the only third Bearcat football team to post 10 or more wins in a season. One was the 1966 state championship team and the other, the 2016 lower state runners up. Trey, these two teams are almost mirror images of one another with both teams' identity deeply rooted in running the football and strong physical defense. The Bearcats with only four pass attempts the last two games has shown that you don't necessarily need to throw the football to win. Absolutely. You're more than right there, partner. Tonight is going to be a lot of running from both teams. That's their calling card. And like you said, there won't be a lot of passing tonight. There's going to be a lot of pounding and grounding. So if you're an old school fan of football tonight, this is the game to listen to and watch. Partner. It is going to be an absolute blast. We're 27 minutes away from kickoff. Stick around. We've got our starting lineup up, coming up just a moment. Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network and our pregame show coverage is brought to you by Burkett and Burkett CPAs. Burkett, Burkett and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947 and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities and we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Hey, this is Kurt Pichy, a proud sponsor of Bearcat Sports and Class of 82 graduate. As the owner of Creekside Restaurant located in Old Mill Lexington, we're happy to continue our support of our young athletes as they continue to do what they love. Creekside is open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., serving breakfast and lunch daily. We also have delivery services available. Remember, breakfast, lunch, or brunch, the choice is yours. Krantz Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity, transparency, and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction. To find out more or to schedule an appointment, visit us at KrantzCooling.com. Krantz with a K and cooling with a K. In South Carolina's fields, whether you're producing food or football, you'll find people of uncommon character and grit. That's why Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore supports the Bearcats and the Eagles. He sees something he recognizes in those players. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore provides protection and peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance. Give Stacy a call today to see if he can help at 803-609-5431. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore is always the home team. Call Stacy today at 803-609-5431. Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa. We're the gentle pet pampering specialists and we're certified dog groomers. We're open Monday through Saturday by appointment. You can call or text us at 803-543-8752. That's 803-543-8752. We're located at 1408 Charleston Highway in West Columbia. We are in the lower level of the Tropic Air Santa's Closet Building. Be sure to mention you heard about us on the Dove 1620. You can also follow us on Facebook. Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa, the gentle pet pampering specialist. 
Coming up in just a moment, tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Lynn Rich Contracting Company, building a better tomorrow today. Lynn Rich Contracting is a family run business specializing in commercial and residential construction. The Key family has been involved in the construction business in South Carolina since the 1940s. Lynn Rich Contracting is committed to providing quality construction in an organized and timely manner. With this commitment, you can be assured that one of our owners will be on site daily to monitor progress, quality, and any issues that may arise. To find out more, visit us at lynrichcontracting.com. Lynn Rich Contracting, building a better tomorrow today. The starting lineups are brought to you by Lynn Rich Contracting Company, building a better tomorrow today. And welcome back to Bearcan Stadium. 23 minutes until kickoff. Mike Higgins alongside Trey Jackson tonight, filling in for Kurt Pichy a little bit under the weather. And we'll start with the Philip Simmons Iron Horses, led by head coach Eric Bendig, number two seed out of Region 8, 10 and 1. And for them, unfortunately, their only loss was to Region 8 opponent Hanahan. Tight game. They lost that one 37 to uh, 34. And a big part of that game is Sherrod Williams was missing for a chunk of that game, and that really cost him in that one. Yes, sir, it did. I was I, I had an opportunity to watch that on Hanahan game that on Philip Simmons had. It was a really, really good ball game. And like you said, Sherrod Williams has been hurt for the last couple of games. So now they say he's back, he's ready, ready to go tonight, Mike. Well, taking a look at their defense starting off, their defensive tackles tonight, Mike Garnett and Gunnar Yoakum. Defensive ends tonight, Denarius Washington and Jabari Taylor. Linebackers are Marcus Townsend, Josh Kant, and a name we'll call a lot tonight. That's Bryce Smalls. The cornerbacks, Troy Stevenson. And, boy, have we got a lot to tell you about him later. One of the more special players in the state. Also, the other cornerback is T.J. Walker. Safeties tonight, free safety Michael Spignardo and Colton Kellerman, the strong safety. And start Starting with that potent offense, they're like the Maytag men, the uh, wide receivers for them, but they are great blockers, and you got to be careful, though. They can throw the ball. Don't let them fool you. Troy Stevenson, one of those starting wide receivers, another name familiar with, at least the last name, Ellington. Bryce Ellington tied in tonight. Brody uh, Tonin. Uh, left tackle tonight is Quaymon Vaughn. Left guard, Tawan Gibbs, and anchoring that line of scrimmage, Daniel Scarth. On the right side of the offensive line, Russell Dickerson at guard, and the le uh, right tackle is going to be Stephen Picard. Running backs, and boy, they have got a tandem. K.J. Asbury, uh, almost 2,000 yards in the season, and Sherrod Williams. Quarterback tonight, Tavian Orlana. And now we'll take a look at your Brooklyn Casey Bearcats coming into tonight's game with a 9-2 and two record, number one seed out of Region 5 after that impressive win over Gilbert a couple of weeks ago. And, Trey, you got to say, that might have been the best game we've played all year. It was. It was a really, really exciting game. Like you said, that game was just so electric, so electric. And BCF 3A team, only losses this year, two teams were to 4A AC floor, which was a top 10 team at the time. It ended up having a disappointing year, but they were a top 10 team at the time. And then the other one was to 5A Chapin. And we'll start with that Bearcat defense. On the defensive line, nose guard Nehemiah Daniels. Defensive end Jared Holmes, back-to-back -back weeks, had an interception and a strip score last yes, week, sir. which yes, was sir. unbelievable. And the other defensive end is Nick Matthews, all six, six of him. Outside backers tonight for the Bearcats, John Weed and Bennett played. Inside backers, Jamarian Brown and Keenan Rose. Strong safety, Javon Edwards and free safety, Will Young. Cornerbacks tonight. Uh, the sophomore, Isaiah Ori and Jordan Boston. And looking at that impressive offensive line going left to right, left tackle, Ja'Cory Jones. Uh, the all-star pick, Camden Sox at left guard. Anton Ford, the center, and the right side of the ball at guard tonight, Jordan Browning, and at tackle, O'Brien Leapart. Tied in tonight, John Allen Maurer and the split end, Sullivan Castles with five touchdown catches on the year. Wide receivers, Jaden Rollins. Flanker tonight, Javon Edwards. Running back, Deshaun Washington. And quarterback, Mr. Do-Everything. Shrine Bowl selection, Will Young. He's special. Absolutely. I call him Slash. Don't forget about that, Mike. <laughs> you did. You did <laughs> indeed. And got a special listener tonight. Just heard from my friend uh, from the Show Me Sports Network, Blake Gazaway. And he's on the road tonight and listening as he's heading over. 19 minutes left until kickoff. Stick around. More of our pregame show on the way right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. 
If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington, Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. In South Carolina's fields, whether you're producing food or football, you'll find people of uncommon character and grit. That's why Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore supports the Bearcats and the Eagles. He sees something he recognizes in those players. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore provides protection and peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance. Give Stacy a call today to see if he can help at 803 609-5431. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore is always the home team. Call Stacy today at 803-609-5431. This is Terry Ward of WestMetroNews.com. West Metro News brings you the most impactful and interesting stories from West Columbia, Casey, Springdale, Pine Ridge, South Congaree, and Lexington. The students of Airport and Brooklyn Casey High Schools are also a key part of the West Metro News coverage. Our focus is to publicize your child's accomplishments. West Metro News includes middle schools and elementary schools in its coverage too. So log on to westmetronews.com and get news about the people you care most about. Burkett Burkett and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947, and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities, and we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit SimplySouthernRealtySC.com. And welcome back to Bearcan Stadium. 15 minutes until kickoff. Had some rain. All right, between 5 and 6. Was a little worried about the weather, but, boy, this is a spectacular night. Yes, sir. It's definitely football weather. The weather kind of scared me a little bit because I saw rain, but now the rain has cleared out, and it's perfect weather for the playoffs, Mike. It absolutely is. We can stay at this temperature. I know it's going to plummet this weekend. Yes, and I think I heard it's going to be back in the 70s next weekend, oh, though. Wow, Isn't wow. that nuts? Oh, man, it's all kind of weather. Yeah, and you wonder why everybody's walking around sniffling right now. <laughs> exactly. Well, Kurt, if you're listening back at home, hope you feel better, buddy. Certainly miss you tonight, and um, not sure if even Kurt's working tomorrow, but I know Creekside will be open <laughs> regardless. I heard they got some real good breakfast, too, Mike. Oh, man, it's my favorite. I'm actually planning on going with my buddy tomorrow. I, I recommend the Creekside Omelette. Okay, okay. I get that. I'll mix it up. Sometimes I'll get it with the grits, and uh, sometimes I'll get the hash browns. Either one's good, but you got you got to try. I don't know if you like Raisin Toast, but it's my absolute favorite. Come on, party. You're making me hungry now. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at some of our key players to watch tonight. And, Trey, we're going to start with Phillip Simmons. And, boy, they've got a lot of guys we need to keep an eye on tonight. Absolutely. We're going to start now with number 21, K.J. Asbury. This kid has almost 2,000 yards rushing. His partner in the backfield is Sherrod Williams. He has almost 1,300 yards rushing. Those two would be the two guys on offense tonight. Yeah. On defense, we're going to look at uh, Bryce Smalls. Uh, he's leading the team in tackles. And we have the uh, the safety, uh, Michael uh, Spignardo. 
He's the engine back there to get everybody lined up. So he's real key player tonight as well. And another key player tonight you want to keep an eye on, that's number two, Troy Stevenson. He's a Georgia Tech commit. He's also a Shrine Bowler, Mike. He's going, to be that, he's going to be that kid that's going to bring a lot of speed to the offense. And one thing about him, I was listening to an interview you turned me on uh, with, with the coach at Phillip Simmons, and he talked about Troy Stevenson. And it, the way he described him, it reminded me of the role that Will Young had Absolutely. did most of the year before us before Washington missed a few games. And yes, he kind of did a little bit of everything. His numbers aren't overwhelming because he had to play so many different roles until he kind of settled into to running the football more. But very good comparison between those two. Yes, sir. Well, let's take a look at some Bearcats you want to keep an eye on tonight. Got to start with Will Young, Shrine Bowl selection, as you call him, Slash. Slash, there you go. Uh, seven for 21, passing on the year, 115 yards, one touchdown. And he has really called on the last four games when he had to do a lot of the – carry a lot of the running load for Deshaun Washington. On the season, 137 carries for 1,154 yards, 8.4 yards a carry, 21 touchdowns. Also add to that 383 yards – and receiving yards, five touchdowns in the last five games, which is where he has really turned it on, Trey. Look at these numbers, 927 yards, 14 rushing touchdowns, and two touchdown receptions. Are you kidding me? That, that is, is absolutely amazing, part. That, that's a season for most folks, much wow. less five games. And you got to talk about Deshaun Washington, another guy we'll keep an eye on tonight. He was recently named to the Palmetto I-20 Classic, him along with Ja'Cory Jones, our special yes, offensive that is correct. lineman. Congratulations to those guys. Yeah, that, that's quite an honor. And uh, he's got 145 year, carries on the year 1391 yards nine and a half yards of carry to go with 17 touchdowns and that's some guys we're going to keep an eye on tonight trey absolutely yes sir looking forward to it man i'm very excited to be here tonight this is playoff football second round let's go guys there are so many great matchups tonight we've got gilbert at hanahan and i think we both agree on that hanahan uh, I, I think they were very fortunate catching philip simmons because I, I don't think there's any question in Region 8, Phillip Simmons is the best team. Absolutely. To my knowledge, not to cut off, Hanahan actually caught Phillip Simmons off a of bye week. So that played a lot into the that, win that game as well. A, that's a great point. But, yeah, I, I got a feeling, though, that, that Gilbert's going to come out. Even though they're traveling on the road, I think they're going to come out a winner on that. Yes, sir, I agree with you. Now, another game you look at on too, partner, is Camden at Dillon. That's another good game to watch, too. Well, the, the importance of that as well for both of these teams tonight, it, well, more so for BC, that if uh, – BC can survive tonight, win next week. If Camden wins that game and Hanahan gets beat tonight, whoever would come out of that bracket would have to travel to the lower state championship game here to BC. Wow, that would be so awesome if we could have that game here for lower state, Mike. Because I can tell you from experience, you, you don't want to go to Dillon. That's not a fun place. <laughs> absolutely. i tell you what, a couple years ago we had lower state here. Dillon had to come here for lower state, and that atmosphere was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely bonkers. You are correct. Well, stick around. We've still got Trey's keys to the game, and you don't want to miss our halftime. We'll be talking to new BC principal, Dr. Vance Jones, and he's got some secrets up his sleeves. Uh -oh, he, he's got a, uh, he's got a uh, nice little resume on the uh, gridiron as well. I don't know if most oh, folks wow. realize. So okay, stay tuned. We'll stay talk tuned. a little about that as well. That's all coming up later in the show. We've got 10 minutes, 55 seconds left until kickoff tonight. Again, you can listen to us here live on the Palmetto State Sports Network app, or you can watch on our YouTube channel. Just go to Palmetto State Sports Network. More of the pregame show continues right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Back with more in just a moment. Krantz Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity, transparency, and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction. To find out more or to schedule an appointment, visit us at KrantzCooling.com. Krantz with a K and cooling with a K. Hey, this is Kurt Pichy, a proud sponsor of Bearcat Sports and Class of 82 graduate. As the owner of Creekside Restaurant located in Old Mill, Lexington, we are happy to continue our support of our young athletes as they continue to do what they love. Creekside is open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., serving breakfast and lunch daily. We also have delivery services available. Remember, breakfast, lunch, or brunch, the choice is yours. Hey, y'all, it's Everly. And Victoria Pichy was so Everly Perfect Photography. Your local photographer specializes in newborn, maternity, and lifestyle photography. 
We now offer both outdoor and private in-studio sessions. Are you looking for that perfect photographer? One that is patient and will gladly take care of every detail so that you can relax and enjoy your session? Visit So Everly Perfect Photography on Facebook and let's capture your next milestone. A message to my mommy. Coming up in just a moment, tonight's Keys to the Game, brought to you by Lorex Auto Repair on Augusta Road in Lexington. Sandy Run Exterminating has been a local family-owned business serving the Midlands since 1991. All of our technicians are licensed and backed by years of experience in the pest control industry. Our technicians and repair specialists are ready, willing, and able to meet all of your pest control and repair needs. All of our applications are eco-friendly and safe to apply around children, pets, and plants. Our technicians go the extra mile to assure your safety. To find out more, visit SandyRunExterminating.com. Experience, character, and integrity. Sandy Run Exterminating. If you're looking for an auto repair shop that you can trust, you found us. Here at Lorix Auto Repair, we know how important it is to find a car service you can rely on so your satisfaction is our top priority each and every day. You will feel the difference that exceptional customer care makes when you work with Lorix Auto Repair. We know our team sets us apart, saving you time and money, not to mention worry. Be sure to stop in and see us weekdays from 8 to 530 at 4804 Augusta Road in Lexington or visit us online at lorixauto.com. Our keys to the game are brought to you by Lorix Auto Repair on Augusta Road in Lexington. Now with tonight's keys to the game, here's Kurt Pesey. Well, Kurt, a little under the weather today and fill it in for him nicely tonight is my broadcast partner this evening, Trey Jackson. And Trey, let's look at our keys to the game tonight. Absolutely. Again, thanks for having me, Mike. The keys for the game is both Brooklyn Case and Phillip Simmons is very similar in that they both want to establish the line of scrimmage and run the ball. So again, this week, I know it may sound cliche, but Brooklyn Case needs to lean on their huge offensive line and yep. get out to a fast start. My next key is Brooklyn Case needs to be efficient on third downs and eliminate turnovers. Yeah. Last week, BC had double digit turnovers, and tonight we can't afford to have that. My final key is Brooklyn Case at defense. The defense needs to get stopped and do a good job attacking tonight. Phillip Simmons has two good running backs, so it's important to get those kids on the ground and not let both of them have a good night, Mike. Yeah, and I tell you what, they, they can tote the rock as good as anybody I've seen this yes. year. I, I told you before the broadcast, I think this is the best team we've seen all year. I agree. I'll tell you what, I've been anticipating this match. I've been studying Phillips Simmons for the last three three weeks or so because I knew at the end of the day it was going to be us versus them. So, like you said, they got two good running backs. As a matter of fact, they remind me of, listen to this, Ronnie Brown and Cadillac Williams from Auburn back in the day. That's a good comparison. And I know a lot of people like to use the thunder and lightning comparison, but I think it's lightning and lightning with this crew. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are just fast and powerful. But we've got about six and a half minutes left until kickoff. And stick around. we got more pregame coverage on the way right here at the Palmetto State Sports Network. Burkett, Burkett, and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947, and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities, and we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Hey, this is Kurt Pichy, a proud sponsor of Bearcat Sports and Class of 82 graduate. As the owner of Creekside Restaurant located in Old Mill, Lexington, we're happy to continue our support of our young athletes as they continue to do what they love. Creekside is open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., serving breakfast and lunch daily. We also have delivery services available. Remember, breakfast, lunch, or brunch, the choice is yours. Krantz Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity, transparency, and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction. To find out more or to schedule an appointment, visit us at KrantzCooling.com. Krantz with a K and cooling with a K. In South Carolina's fields, whether you're producing food or football, you'll find people of uncommon character and grit. That's why Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore supports the Bearcats and the Eagles. He sees something he recognizes in those players. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore 
provides protection and peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance. Give Stacy a call today to see if he can help at 803-609-5431. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore is always the home team. Call Stacy today at 803-609-5431. Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa. We're the gentle pet pampering specialists and we're certified dog groomers. We're open Monday through Saturday by appointment. You can call or text us at 803-543-8752. That's 803-543-8752. We're located at 1408 Charleston Highway in West Columbia. We are in the lower level of the Tropic Air Santa's Closet Building. Be sure to mention you heard about us on the Dove 1620. You can also follow us on Facebook. Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa, the gentle pet pampering specialist. If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington, Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit SimplySouthernRealtySC.com. And welcome back to Fort Knox here on the campus of Brooklyn Casey High School. Mike Higgins alongside Trey Jackson sitting in for Kurt Peachy tonight. Rex Higgins producing up a storm tonight. We have got just under two minutes away from kickoff. And any final thoughts, Trey? Oh, man, the final thoughts is it's going to be a good game tonight. If you're looking for an old-school football game, this is the game to watch tonight. It's going to be a lot of running. And a matter of fact, you got two kids on each team got over 1,000 yards rushing. That's, that's unheard of, partner. That is amazing. Bearcats wearing their traditional maroon jerseys, white pants, maroon and white stripes, maroon helmets with interlocking white BC. And for Philip Simmons tonight, coming out in the road whites, road jersey, uh, white jerseys, white pants, black numbers, uh, purple trim on the shoulders, and black helmets with uh, purple and white stripes down the middle with that iron horse on the side. They were just founded in 2017 and named for the famous artesian uh, in Charleston, specialized in ironworks, Philip Simmons. Okay, okay. So that's where the iron horses come from. One of the more unique game, uh, nicknames in the state. I know we talked about last week the Mullins Auctioneers and the we Barnwell did. War Horses. So add that to one of the great nicknames in high school football in the state. And I did not see the toss. Did you see who won the I, toss? I did not. It, it happened so quick I missed it. We just so, so we'll excited see. and everything. Ready for the game to start. We, <laughs> you're missing the tone. I'll calls. tell you, we talked about it last week, but the stat that always sticks out to me with BC, this year 9-0 and when scoring first. Let's hope tonight it'll be 10-0 when we right. score first, Mike. And here come the Bearcats. It's football time in Casey. Student body lead them out with the Bearcat flags. And I tell you what, those guys are coming out. They are absolutely pumped up and ready for some football tonight. Temperatures starting to drop a little bit. Still nice, pleasant temperatures this evening. Going to be a lot of fun here. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, partner, they got me pumped up. I'm ready to go out there and talk to somebody tonight. <laughs> I'm not ready to commit to that yet. I don't know if I have enough energy for that one. Come on, come on now. I, I, I'd be good for maybe a half a play. That's about it tonight. And War Iron Horse is out of the sideline. They're getting ready to go, and we are set to tee things off here in the second round of the playoffs. 
Again, for the Bearcats, they have only won 10 games twice in the program's history. That was the state championship team back in 1966 and 2016 team, which as far as teams I've seen, that's the best Bearcat team I've seen. They finished that year 12-2 and two and lost a heartbreaker here to Dillon. And that was uh, the week after Thanksgiving. That was a heartbreaking loss. And now we're to tee it up for the Bearcat. So Phillip Simmons will get the ball first. And dis discipline going to be a big key for both of these teams tonight. Stay away from those personal fouls, those big 15-yarders, and the holding penalties. Yeah, so that was one of my keys as well. Limit the turnovers, play clean football, and we should come away with a victory tonight. We'll see if Mauer concentrates on kicking it deep, or we'll see a little pooch kick right here. Mauer certainly got the leg to put it in the back of the end zone. He put some spin on it as well. Mauer approaches it, toe meets leather, squib kick. And going to be run out of bounds. And it's going to be marked right around the 30, and we'll see if they decide to take it and enforce the penalty. That's what they're going to do. Now, last week we saw with Lake City, they may BC kick it off again, and that really did not pay dividends for them at all. No, it didn't. I understand what Burton Case is trying to do. They're trying to kick the, kick the ball off and get them good field position to start the game, partner. No, absolutely. So we see Phillip Simmons' offense come out here to take charge, and we're going to see a show tonight from both of these teams. Absolutely. Definitely looking forward to this game here. Get your popcorn ready, fans. Orlana will lead him out on the field as quarterback. For the players to watch as well, K.J. Asbury and Sherrod Williams. Williams wears number 21. And a split backfield, almost like a single wing. Looks over the defense, snaps it, middle of the field, turns around, and right away gonna give it off to Asbury, and he has swarmed, but he'll still get it up to the 39-yard line, picking up four yards on first down. Asbury averaging 11 yards a carry on the season. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. That kid is near 2,000 yards rushing. He is, he is just about 83 yards shy. Second down for Phillip Simmons. A rush to the line. Still plenty of time to get the playoff. Double wing formation. Sends a man in motion, gives it to Williams. Williams cuts it back inside across the numbers. Up past the 45 and up near the 47. More than enough for a first down. And the Iron Horses get the first first down of the game. Yes, sir. That was, yes, sir. That was a good run by number five, Sherrod Williams. And that was a great talk about host the Bearcats on that play there. And they'll be moving toward the cafeteria side of the field, the scoreboard side, away from Knox Abbott Drive. Fresh set of downs, first and 10. Ball on their own 47. Right slap down in the middle of the field near that interlocking BC logo at midfield. Double wing set again. Asbury in the backfield to the right of Orlano. Gives it to Orlano. And Asbury taking it right side, gets near midfield, stopped at the 49, gain of two. That'll bring up a second down and eight. Yeah, so that was a good tackle there by number 20, Keenan Rose in the play from Brooklyn Casey. Yeah, we'll see a lot of Keenan Rose tonight as well. Yes, sir. He's going to be all over the field tonight, making all kind of hits. Break the huddle. Second down and eight. Just on their side of the field, shotgun snap. Split backfield, Williams right up the gun, pulls over a couple of defenders, and boy, the intensity out there, these two teams going at it right now. A bull rush gets them up to the BC 45, and a flag coming out. Tell you what, that was a good play there by number eight, Javon Ayers with a good talk on number five, Sherrod, Sherrod Williams, and it looks like there's a flag. Yeah, it came out late. Usually when that's the case, it's unsportsmanlike. That is the case. It'll go against the Iron Horses and it'll back him up 15. Absolutely. you got to give a lot of credit to Javon Edwards. I don't know if he's doing an acting job just now, but he definitely called a penalty for Burke and Casey. And it'll back him up. And bring up a second down and long right here. Ball near that near hash. Orlana looks toward the sideline, gets the play call. They'll split them outside. Bryce Ellington, top of the screen. Wide open set. 
Three receivers wide side of the field. Don't see that often. Rolana shotgun snap. Keeper all the way. Stutter steps. And boy, he is driven. I think it's a fumble too. Down partner. to the 40. BC's not going to be able to land on it. Just missed picking up that fumble. That's going to bring up a third down and long. No. Oh, my goodness. What a hit there by number 30. Near my, and he caught the fumble on that play as well. And it's going to bring up a fourth and 16 right here. You're going to have to punt the ball. Excuse me. Not fumble. It's a punt. And Sam Crocker named in the North-South All-Star game. I'll Tremendous you, kicker. Absolutely. I'll tell you what. we got special teams are going to be good on both sides. We have two great kickers tonight for both teams. He has pinned nine punts inside the 20 so far this season. Good snap. Got plenty of time. Boy, and he booms one. Get some air under that. Young going to call for a fair catch and gets it right at the 24 where the Bearcats will take over their first possession. And again, keep in mind, fans, Bearcats a perfect 9-0 when scoring first this season. Only two losses uh, where the opposing team scored first, and that was, if you remember the AC4 game, they had a scoop and score on the first yes, play sir. of the game. Yes, sir, they did. And I believe Chapin had a field goal in the first quarter of that game. Both losses on the road. BC undefeated here at home, 6-0. Turns around, gives the mail to Washington. Washington trying to bounce it outside. And I'll try to get a couple of yards inside as they mark him at the 25, only a gain of one. Tell you what, that was a good job there by a host of Phillips Simmons defenders there to get Deshaun Washington on the ground. Taking down at nine for the Bearcats, 8.38. Clock continues to move, ball far hash. Players look back to the sideline. Eight and a half to play, first quarter, no score here from Brooklyn Casey. Second round of the South Carolina State High School playoffs. Young back of the gun, keeper all the way, takes it around left side, trying to kick it wide near the 30, and that's it. They'll call him down at the 31, but picks up some valuable real estate right there. It's going to bring up a third down and manageable here. Going to need about four yards. Officially, we'll call it a third and three. Bearcats need to move it right to the 34-yard line to move those sticks. Ball near hash. Jumbo package gives it to Washington. Washington pulls it forward, and he's got the first down near the 36-yard line. Got an extra two yards on that play. Yes, sir, what a good heart. Physical run there by Deshaun Washington. He knows he had to get for the first down, and he got it. Bearcats taking their time. Still got 30 seconds to get the playoff. Mauer in at tight end. So another heavy package, tight formation. Little eye candy there. Young sends a man in motion, gives it to Castles, cuts it inside, and he'll be taken down at the 38-yard line. Castles pick it up two on the play. I tell you what, part there's some hitting going on tonight. There's some wood being laid tonight. Tell you what, you could see that from the opening snap. A lot of intensity between these two teams tonight. Absolutely. 7.05 clock moving. BC on the move, moving toward Knox Abbott. Second down and seven from the 39. Young back in the pistol. He's got Washington right behind him to the right. Crouches down, gives it to Washington. Angles left side. Stiff arm and going to move it up to the 43-44 yard line. So a gain of around four on second and seven. Another third down, a critical play coming up. You got to give it credit there to number two, Troy Stevenson there. From Phillips, he did a good job sticking his nose in there and getting a big hit on the running back from D.C. Bearcats, a couple of substitutions. Edwards will come in along with Sullivan Castles. Third down and three from the 43. Everybody looks at their wrist, down to 17 seconds to get the playoff. Still a little over six minutes to play in the first quarter. Shotgun snap, young keeper, tries to get far side, cuts it near the numbers, pass midfield, still on his feet. Little shake and bake inside the 40 and down in Iron Horse territory at the 36 yard line. Spectacular play. Another critical third down conversion by the Bearcats on a third and three. What a big time play and a big time run by number one. There's a guy, Will Young, with a big time first down on that play. Clock under six minutes now at 5.52. Young looks at his wrist. They are loaded that line of scrimmage yes. running man to man as well. Young looks back to the sideline, 11 seconds left. 
Quick stoppage in play. And offside on Phillip Simmons. That'll be another five yards here for the Bearcats. All the penalties going against Phillip Simmons so far. They've had a 15-yarder and a five-yarder. Yes, That's 20 yards of penalty yards on that first drive there. That'll move it to the 31. First down and five for BC. Playbook wide open. Bearcats only attempted four passes the last two weeks. Two of those were late last week. That final couple of minutes, Young crouches down. Inside handoff, Edwards right up the gun, and he is going to take it to the house. 31 yards, Javon Edwards, and the Bearcats draw first blood. What an answer and what a drive there by Brooke and Casey. That started on the 24-yard line, six-play drive with a touchdown there by Javon Edwards. My goodness, big jump right there. And again, coming to the game, BC 9-0 when scoring first, trying to make it 10-0 with a win tonight. And Mauer to go in and attempt the extra point, 62 of 62 on the season. Been absolutely spectacular. Sox to hold, puts it down, Mauer's kick on the way, and he bangs it through the Bearcats with an early lead, 5-17 left in the first. It's Bearcats 7, and the Iron Horses nothing right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington, Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. Tonight's it's game South is presented Carolina's by field. Simply Southern Whether Realty. To find out more, or visit football, Simply Southern Realty SC.com. And my goodness, what a spectacular run by the Bearcats. 31 yards, Javon Edwards. Boy, what a burst of speed right there. Yes, sir, it really was. That inside handout again is always worked for perfection. Every time they run that play, is always positive yards. And again, the number 9 and 0 when scoring first. Trying to make it 10 and 0 here, Trey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Maurer to set to kick off again. Another squib kick. Boy, takes a wicked bounce. Fielded at the 35-yard line. Trying to catch it outside. Get a little crease. Going to get up near midfield for the Iron Horses. And getting the uh, kick there was T.J. Walker, a junior for them. Defensive back. So they've had some good starting field position so far. Yes, sir, I did. Had the opportunity to listen to Coach Benedict interviewed um, today. He said their kids are trying to run the ball a lot. They like to use a lot of tight ends and fullbacks to try to pound that ball in. Coach Eric Bendig now in his sixth year, uh, actually seventh. Seven, 36 yes, and 27 record overall. Penalty against the Bearcats will move it up 15 yards. So a 15 yard penalty a piece for both teams. You got to keep emotions in check here. Just like that they're in BC territory the 38. Split backfield again. Arlana turns around, hands it off. And trying to move that pile forward. It gets up near the 35-yard line. Not a whole lot doing right there. Bearcat defense so far is really bowing up. Yes, sir. Brooklyn Case is doing a good job of stuffing that run. That was a great tackle there by number 73, our guy, Jared Holmes. Yes, sir. I'm not sure if he's going to get a shot at an interception this week. Second down and seven from the 35 of B.C. Orlando back in the gun. Sends a man in motion. 
Now a split backfield. Again, a lot of eye candy as Asbury will go to the left, Williams to the right. Nine seconds to get the playoff. Second down and seven. Shotgun snap. Taking his time. Gets it off. Turns around. Hands it to Asbury. Asbury breaks the tackle and gets down to the 30. Gain of five on the play. Going to be shy of the first down and sets up a big third down here. No doubt, though, Trey, this is going to be four down territory. Yes, sir, absolutely. Another, another good tackle there by our number 20, Keenan Rose. Yeah, Rose has been all over the place this season. Valuable part of our defense. Yes, sir, that kid's playing at a high level. Under four minutes to play down to 3.57 in the first quarter. Bearcats lead this one 7 to nothing after an open and drive score. Took over from the 24-yard line. And a big third down. Back from the Wildcat, Asbury Keeper bottled up, loses it. BC down for it. I think Philip Simmons able to get it. Or did BC get it? BC does get the turnover. How about that, Trey? Wow, what a big time turnover there from Brooke and Casey. To that get that guy, Asbury, on the ground and call the turnover, that's high level football right there, partner. Just what the doctor ordered, Bearcats with a much needed turnover. Got the 7 0 lead and the football with 3 3 3 left on the clock here in the first. Will Young set to come out and lead him again. Javon Edwards with a 31 yard jaunt to the end zone on the first play. Down to eight seconds to get the playoff. Edwards gets back up the field in jumbo package. Young crouches down, keeper all the way, left side, trying to work his way outside. Then on the hash, not a whole lot doing, gets up to the 33, upended after a one yard pickup. That was a great tackle there by the safety, number 13 from Philip Simmons, Michael Spinardo. He came up the field, made a good form tackle to get a hard guy on the ground, Will Young. Yeah, and hearing Coach Bidnick talk about him, he is a leader on that field, yes, very vocal part of their team. Absolutely, he's very important to their defense. Second down and nine for the Bearcats. Trying to eat some clock and put some more points on the board. Jumbo package. Call it Iwo Jima, two big offensive linemen in the backfield. Gives it to Washington. Washington bottled up. Nowhere to run. He has stood up at the 35 gain of only two on the play. And we have not seen many teams be able to kind of bow up against BC and stop our running game. Absolutely. You got to give credit to both teams. They're doing a good job of stopping the run. You can tell both teams have had a good practice this week and been watching a lot of film. Down to two and a half to play. Up under center. Don't see that often. Turns around, hands it to Washington. Full head of steam breaks through into the secondary and gets past the 40 near a first down. Going to the pin of the spot. Looked like where they're spotting it. We might have got it right here. They're going to move the chains. Yes, sir. That was a good run there by Deshaun Washington. Another first down. And that is three third downs we have converted on so far in this game early in the first quarter. Bearcats taking their time. Play clock at 25. 205 and moving here in the first quarter. 7 0 BC leads. Iwo Jima starting off with Iwo Jima. Now, four men in the backfield. Young going to keep it. Takes it right side. Cuts up the seam. And it'll pick up about four yards on the play, bringing up a second down and six. There's one of our players of the game there, number one, Bryce Miles. He did a good job of sticking the hole and making a good play on Will Young. He is one heck of a linebacker. Absolutely. He reminds me of one of those old school linebackers from back in the day. And the Iron Horse is on the year, giving up 18 and a half points a game. The highest they've given up all season was 37 to Hanahan. Wow. Milking some more clock. Play clock down to 16 with 120 remaining. First quarter action. 7-0 Bearcat. Second down and seven. Ball to BC 46. Snap. Fakes the handoff. Young keeper bounces outside. Had a crease open. Gets right at midfield. Gain of four. That's going to bring up another third down. Three and a half right here. Tell you what, that was a good play call on second down. That was a good wrinkle there for the offense. And that was a good pickup by Will Young. And BC Trey so far three for three on third down conversions. Sure. One of my keys to the game, you want to be efficient on third downs. And Brick and Case is doing a good job of that so far tonight. Outstanding. Maybe the last play of the first quarter here on third and three from midfield. This is a big, big third down for both teams, Mike. <laughs> Offensive lineman is a lead blocker. Young 
Going to give inside. It's four for four on the handoff. Inside handoff goes to Javon Edwards. Had the earlier touchdown of 31 yards. And we did not see that play a lot early in the season. That's been our bread and butter for some big gains here the last couple of weeks. Yes, sir, it has. When you took the words out of my mouth, that inside run is beginning to be one of their most favorite plays. But every time they run it, it seems like they get a first down. That may be the final play of the first quarter. BC content to let the clock run out right here. This has been a fast first quarter, partner. It sure has. 7 to nothing. BC with the early lead. We'll take a quick timeout. Back at the start of the second quarter in a moment. Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. This is Terry Ward of WestMetroNews.com. West Metro News brings you the most impactful and interesting stories from West Columbia, Casey, Springdale, Pine Ridge, South Congaree, and Lexington. The students of Airport and Wolfen Casey High Schools are also a key part of the West Metro News coverage. Our focus is to publicize your child's accomplishments. West Metro News includes middle schools and elementary schools in its coverage too. So log on to westmetronews.com and get news about the people you care most about. Burkett Burkett and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947, and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities, and we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit SimplySouthernRealtySC.com. And Deshaun Washington with the carry for the Bearcats. And that ball is going to be placed right at the 34-yard line for the Bearcats. 11.53, the start of the second quarter. Bearcats with a 7-0 lead. First down and 10, fresh set of downs for the Bearcats. 34-yard line of Phillip Simmons. Ball far hash. Shotgun formation. Young, keeper all the way. Tries to work it outside. Working along the hashes now inside the 30, still moving it at the 28, though, blow the play dead. That's a gain of six. Bearcats trying to score another touchdown here and eat up a ton of clock, Trey. Yes, yeah, sir. That's, that's a huge, huge possession here for both teams here. Looking Casey doing a good job on offense, and they're looking to try to score on this drive as well. 11.08. Clock continues to move. Iwo Jima formation. Heavy package. Turns around, Washington gets the mail. Breaks the initial package. Found a tackle, gets right at the 31 yard line. And that might be enough for a first down. They are going to move the chains. And I tell you, this BC offensive line trade, Coach Sharpie has said it's the best he's coached and might be the best I've seen in my time here at BC. Yes, I have to agree. This offensive line does a good job of getting body on body and just moving the defensive line back. And so far, it looks like they're starting to wear on Philip Simmons' defensive line. Yeah, they sure are. Like it. Almost 10 and a half minutes to go in the half. 7 to nothing. Bearcats lead. First down and 10. Just outside the red zone. Getting that inside handoff. A shoot move by Edwards. And looked like a clothesline. Right at around the 12-yard line, just outside of another first down. I tell you what, Javon Edwards, that was a really nice run there by Javon Edwards and a good tackle by a host of Phillips Simmons players. And right now, Javon Edwards is playing with a lot of confidence. He sure is. He's kind of been one of the unsung heroes this year. So that kid is fearless. Second down and two for the Bearcats. All of the Phillips Simmons 13, high snap. Young able to corral it. Trying to track him down in the backfield. Jumps inside the 10 right around the 8-yard line. More than enough for a first down. So it's going to be a first down and goal here for the Bearcats, Trey. Yes, sir. That was a good. Got to give a lot of credit to number 21, K.J. Osborne. He did a good job of flying on the line. They tried to slow Will Young down so his team could get there and get him on the ground. First and goal for the Bearcats, 9.46 here in the first half. Some more substitutions coming in. Thomas Donato checking in at tight end. 
Young goes up under center. Iwo Jima package. Turns around. Gives it to Washington. Washington had a hole initially, but going to be stomped right at the five. Gain of four on a first and goal from the nine. Thanks for joining us. Mike Higgins along with Trey Jackson and Rex Higgins, our producer tonight. Yes, yeah, sir. I give a lot of credit to Rex there again. Uh, is that the producer? He makes, the, he makes it go. He is the straw that stirs the drink. Yes, sir. Fair cancel. Be under nine minutes to play when they snap this ball. Second and goal from the five. Again, Iwo Jima package. Young up under center. Turns around. Hands to Washington. Toward the end zone. Touchdown. Deshaun Washington from five yards, and the Bearcats are back on the board. That's been two impressive drives by the Bearcats so far, Trey. Yeah, so you got to give a lot of credit. That was a long drive, and that was a good job by Brooklyn Casey getting the ball in the end zone. 13 to nothing. Extra point attempt coming up by Maurer. 8.55 left, first half action. Sox with the hold. Kick by Maurer is on the way, and it is good. Bearcats lead this one early. Score right now, 14 to nothing. Bearcats back with more in just a moment. Hey, this is Kirk Pichy, a proud sponsor of Bearcat Sports and Class of 82 graduate. As the owner of Creekside Restaurant located in Old Mill, Lexington, we're happy to continue our support of our young athletes as they continue to do what they love. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. A55 left, first half action. All BC surprisingly right now. 14 0, still a long game, Trey, but you got to like the way things have started so far for BC. Absolutely. Britain Cage is out to a hot start. A hot start. They're doing exactly what they want to do. They're doing a good job of running the football, and they're also eliminating possession for Philip Simmons as well on the other side of the ball. That's a great point. Now we're set to kick it off again. A couple of squib kicks so far. We'll see if we let him unleash one right here. Trying to get some updates to see what's happening at Gilbert right now as they travel to Hanahan tonight. Another Region 5, Region 8 matchup. And he'll boom that one deep back of the end zone. Job well done. They'll take it out the 20-yard line. And if you can do that in high school football, that's an important part of the game. Yes, Make sir. a team drive 80 yards. Absolutely. That's, a, that's definitely a weapon to have a good kicker like Maurer. And also, this is a really, really important possession here by Phillip Simmons. They need to do something on offense here, partner. Yeah, they sure do. They had the uh, forced punt the first drive and then a fumble last drive. This is their third possession of the game so far. Williams left side, right side Asbury. Orlana right in the middle taking the snap. Check that. That's Asbury in the Wildcat. He's going to keep it and not a whole lot doing right there. Gets it up to the 26-yard line. That was a good tackle also by number one, Will Young. He's doing a good job on both sides of the ball. Now you can tell this kid is ready to play. That's funny how you see the stars from the offense play defense for both of these teams. Like I said, they're mirror images of one another. So at this time of the year, you want to have your best players on the field. Lock at 8.45, second down and four from the 26. Again, almost a single wing look with a wing bank left side. Shotgun snap. Going to keep it as Barry. He was corralled initially, breaks a tackle. Bowls over defender and going to get past the 35 up to the 36, and they'll convert there on a second down and four. Fresh set of downs for the Iron Horses. Yes, yeah, sir, you got to give a credit to number six from Brooklyn Casey, Jordan Boston on that tackle. And like you said, I see why number 21 Asbury is almost a 2,000-yard rush. That kid runs really hard. <laughs> he is unbelievable. They had 453 yards of offense last week, 414 on the ground, and two passes, both of them complete for 39 yards. Asbury caught both of them. Taking the snap, Asbury takes it right side, trying to get to that sideline. And right near the marker, they're going to call for a flag right there. They might get it. Could have been a late hit out of bounds. Yeah, so that was a good play there by William at getting to the ball, but looks like he hit number 21, Asbury, a little late out of bounds. And that's the far side of the field. I'm not sure if they threw a flag or not. It was They were calling for it, but they might not have thrown it. Yeah, I'm not seeing any 
Any flags come out? I think they did, Carl. If you look at it, it's like a flag right there about a first down mark. Well, that's that's what I thought as well. Yeah, there is one, isn't there? Yes, sir. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yes, it sir. would be a personal foul. I thought that's what I saw. So two personal fouls against the Bearcats. We've had one against Phillip Simmons right now. So that certainly factors into this yes, game, sir. especially one as evenly matched as this one. Absolutely. You don't want to... You know, shoot yourself in the foot in an important game like this. How about the numbers from Asbury last week from Phillip Simmons? 15 carries, 232 yards, four touchdowns, 15 yards a carry. And comes it on the end around, trying to find some running room and follow up, nowhere to go. They'll sling the runner down and as they handed that off. That went to Troy Stevenson. Yes, sir. That was also a good job again by a two-way player from Brooklyn Case, number two, Deshaun Washington. Might get it number two from Philip Simmons, Troy Williams <laughs> Stevenson on the ground. I see what you did there, Trey. Yes, sir. Second down and eight, only a gain of two on the play. They run for 328 yards a game. They have got a powerhouse offense as well. Orlana stays in the game, delayed handoff, turns around, hands it off, and Bear can't snuff that one out. Not a big play on the by Asbury there. Picks up a couple of yards up near the 40. It's going to bring up a second down and eight clock moving with 7.17 left. There's that guy again, Deshaun Washington, and also he had help from number 12, Isaiah Orry, on the tackle by getting number 21 on the ground. They're doing a good job on defense tonight tackling yeah, Mike. Yeah, that's a great point, Trey. Ball left hash, they'll break it. Shotgun formation. Two receivers left to the right. Orlana back at quarterback. Asbury beside him to his right. Asbury with a touchdown reception last week, caught both passes for 39 yards. He did do about everything last week. Shotgun snap, keeper. Bearcats had it snuffed out, but a big gain on the way. And gonna be near first down, probably got it here as they mark him right at the 30 yard line. That'll move the sticks again. And a lot of big run right there. And I think more unexpected, BC was uh, really not looking for that. Yes, sir. BC was keen on number five, number 21. That was a great call there yep. by Phillip Simmons with that quarterback draw. Surely was. Another fresh set of downs. 6.33, clock moves. On their third possession of the game, BC's had it twice. Possessions and a premium tonight. Split backfield. Flag comes out. See what the call is right here from the referees. Call false start against Phillip Simmons. That'll back him up five. First down and 15. That's what you don't want to do, Mike. Uh, Phillip Simmons also a really good drive tonight, but you don't want to get a penalty to cause yourself to go back. He's had first and 10, now it's first and 15. So you got to sharpen that up as the game goes on. Boy, how about this? A shootout at Hanahan, 14-14, still in the first quarter. Oh, wow. Running the Wildcat, Asbury. Split backfield. He's got Williams beside him. Going to run it right side. And he is slung down. Nowhere to go. Bearcats sniff that out. He gets up near the 34-yard line and right back to the line of scrimmage. What a great play there by number four, Jamarion Brown. He did a great play by getting to the line of scrimmage and wrapping up and getting that kid from Phillip Simmons on the ground. Great play and a good job by that kid. A lot of discipline right there. Clock at 5.50 and counting. This has been a fast first half. It is. Part. You said it. You said we might get out of here by 9.30 tonight. It's only 8 right now. Wow. A half an hour almost for the first half. That's amazing. Shotgun snap. Running back to the left. Two receivers, three receivers split left side. Hands it off. And Asbury caught from behind. Only gets about a yard right there. And great tackle there by the Bearcats in the backfield. Yes, sir. That was number 30 on that tackle. And Nehemiah Daniels, he did a good job of wrapping up and getting that kid number 21 on the ground for him. And I tell you, he looks like a fire plug out there, doesn't he? Ah, he does. He's built like a running back, isn't he? 5 10, clock moves, third down and 15 from the 34. Phillip Simmons for them to convert. They got to get it right at the 19. Bearcats trying to desperately Bearcats stomp him right here. Bearcats four men on the offensive line. Chopping back. Orlana under pressure. Might have to run it right here. BC needs to hold him up and a good lick there by Washington. Stops him short, four down territory though. You've got to go for it right here if you're Phillip Simmons. Yes, sir. This is four down territory. It looks like there's a flag on the play, Mike. Good Maybe tackle a by hold Deshaun in. Washington as well. Going to go against Phillip Simmons.
No, it must have not been a penalty. Okay, they picked it up. Okay. Yeah, it sure did. This is a huge, huge down here with Phillips Simmons. They Just get that four and a half to play. Yeah, sir. They got to get something, some kind of points on the drive. Eric Hans trying to stop him. Trips right side. Again, got to get it to about the 19-yard line. Well, a sack would be huge. You might see a delayed handoff to Asbury. I think that was a good job there by Philip Simmons in fourth and four, a key possession, like getting the time. You want to make sure you get the right play in on this position. You do. We'll take a 30-second break back with more BC leading 14 to nothing. Back in a second. Krenz Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity transparency and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction to find out more or to schedule an appointment visit us at krantzcooling.com krantz with a k and cooling with a k tonight's game is presented by simply southern realty to find out more visit simply southern realty sc.com and welcome back to Fort Knox here on the campus of Brooklyn KC High School. Mike Higgins alongside Trey Jackson sitting in for Kurt Pesci, chilling out at home, trying to recuperate from a little cold. And Absolutely. He sent me a nice picture on the big screen watching oh, the game man. tonight and listen to us. Awesome. Big fourth down and fourth from the 23. Orlando back in the gun. Asbury to his right. Drops back, scans the field, wants to throw middle of the field. And was it knocked down? Incomplete. Bear cancel. Get a turnover on downs. What a spectacular play. Good job for the Bearcats. What a nice breakup by number six, Jordan Boston. Good play. Good defense for Bearcats. And this is huge right here with 4.06 and counting to play here in the first half. Bearcats could get a drive and go up 21 and nothing in the half. That's hard to imagine. Oh, wow. Would not, wasn't, wasn't expecting that. And they actually let around nine seconds run off the clock. It should have been reset to 406. But as it is, it'll be 357. We'll see if they add some more time to it. As the play ended at 406 and it was a turnover on downs. Yes, sir. I, I saw that as well. And they are. They're going to put more time on the clock. They're actually going to put it right at 415. Yep. Yeah. Coach Watts getting everybody rolling straight. <laughs> Absolutely. Good job by those guys, man, by getting this, getting that time right. 4.15 left, first down and 10. Bearcats with the ball on 23-yard line. Right here, you just want to keep it away from them the rest of the half. Absolutely. If you can score, that's a bonus. Young takes the snap. Keeper, right side, trying to find some running room. Breaks a tackle and still moving, holding up that pile, and they'll call it dead. As he'll get it right near the 30-yard line. They'll say he's down at the 29. So a gain of six. That's a good pickup on first down. Really good pickup there by, by Will Young. He did a good job of staying in balance as well to keep this clock running. This is a huge defense possession here by Phillip Simmons. They don't want to go down 21 and nothing at halftime. No. Bearcats averaging 40 points a game on the season. 376 yards of offense. No slouch either. Young back in the gun. Inside handoff, and they sniffed that out for Edwards, who'd already had two big gains on it. One, a 31-yard touchdown. Another one, a crucial third down conversion. They had that one read all the way. Yes, sir. Great job by number nine, Gunnar Yoakum, with a good tackle there on number eight, Javon Edwards. He did a good job of stuffing that inside run. Clock at 3.15 to play. First half action, 14 to nothing. Bear can't lead this one. And stick around for our halftime show. We'll be joined by Dr. Vance Jones, new principal at Brooklyn Casey, doing some amazing things. Heavy package for the Bearcats. Gonna hand off to Washington. Washington bottled up, not able to swerve out of that. And he gets back to the 30, maybe picks up one on the play. Gonna be a fourth down. And you're gonna see Brogan Sox for the first time this evening. He's averaging 40 yards a punt this year. That was huge there by Phillips Simmons by getting off the foot on that play. Yeah. They need it. They definitely needed that. And when BC punts the ball, it's gonna be about 215 left when Phillips Simmons gets the football. Ball right hash. Is BC gonna go for it on a fourth and three? Maybe trying to draw more sides. That does appear to be the case. Got Iwo Jima formation. Two offensive linemen to the right side. 
Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. May call a timeout right here. Yep, that's what he was trying to do, trying to get him off with a cadence, and doesn't work. Good job by Philip Simmons Time to show some Bearcats. discipline right there. The Bearcats take a timeout, fourth and three when we come back for the Bearcats. Back with more in just a moment on the Palmetto State Sports Network. If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. 208 left of the half. Mike Higgins, Trey Jackson here with you. Rogan Sox set to punt in. Could not get much of that just over midfield. We'll see where they mark it at. And needed a deeper punt on that one. They're going to have it right at midfield. So a golden opportunity after BC was trying to run the clock out and maybe go up 21 0. And now uh, Phillip Simmons with a chance to cut that score in half, 14 0 right now. Absolutely. This would definitely be a huge possession for Phillip Simmons. They could get down and score a touchdown and get back in the game here. Just at 201 left. Orlana comes out at quarterback. Asbury in the backfield with him. Two receivers left, two to the right. Trying to spread BC out a little bit and give him a running lane. Fakes it, quick pass complete to Troy Stevenson. And a nice little gainer there. He's gonna pick up about six yards. Good game for Phillip Simmons and a tackle there by number 19, the 6'6", Nick Matthews. And first pass of the night by either team. Yes, sir. We told you over and under for passes tonight would be about five. Absolutely. That's one right there. Trips right side, wide side of the field for Alano. Asbury in the backfield with him. Four men front by the BC defense. Turns around, quick pass out in the flats. Complete. And the Bearcats had that stuffed out. Going to be stopped short of the first down. And pass complete to Bryce Ellington. Absolutely. What a great hit there by number four, Jamarion Brown. I'll tell you what, Mike, there's a lot of hard hit going on tonight. Yeah, sure is. These kids are laying it out. They're down in one. Orlana stays in at quarterback. Asbury to his left. Turns around, gives to Asbury. Asbury got the first down, hungry for more, still on his feet. Little shake and bait near the 30. And he is still moving forward near the 20 yard line where he's finally run down. 105 left and BC desperately needing a stop here late in the half. That was a grown man run there by number 21, KJ Asbury on that play. It he sure was. He refused to go down on that play, Mike. Rolana hurries him up to the line of scrimmage, trips wide side of the field. Asbury to the right. Feeds it to Asbury again, right up the gut, moving that pile forward. Again, going to get right at the 12-yard line. Picks up five with 49 seconds left. Now Both another teams still with two timeouts, Trey, so yes, plenty sir. of time. Plenty of time. That was a good tackle there by Will Young as well. Tell you what, Orlana, a great game manager for this team. Does a good job at managing that clock. Looks to pass the ball. Stays in the pocket. Complete. And driving toward the end zone over there. I'm not sure if he quite got in. Was Asbury. That was really close. But that was a really good decision there by Orlando. He didn't have anything there. He didn't no. force it. He was able to find his running back in the back for in the flats for a good run. That was almost a touchdown as well. 24 seconds left. Again, two timeouts left by both squads. And Phillip Simmons will take a timeout. That's a good one for them to take. We'll take a quick one with them there. Bearcats lead this one 14 to nothing with 24 seconds left in the half. Back with more in just a moment. If you're looking for an auto repair shop that you can trust, you found us here at Lorix Auto Repair. We know how important it is to find a car service you can rely on, so your satisfaction is our top priority each and every day. You will feel the difference that exceptional customer care makes when you work with Lorix Auto Repair. We know our team sets us apart, saving you time and money, not to mention worry. Be sure to stop in and see us weekdays from 8 to 5.30 at 4.804 Augusta Road in Lexington or visit us online at lorixauto.com. 
Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. 14 to nothing, Bearcats lead final 24 seconds of the first half. And tell you what, masterable job by Philip Simmons to get the stop when BC got the ball back and now manage the clock. 24 seconds left and got a couple of opportunities to get in the end zone. Still got one timeout left as well. Wildcat. Snap goes to Asbury toward the end zone and he's in. Touchdown by the Iron Horses. Extra point could split this lead in half. What a great job by Phillips. What a great answer. It's a reason why they're here. Yeah, they're a good football team, Mike. 51 yard drive. An extra point attempt coming up. Crocker on the year 55 of 55. He is also perfect. North South selection. And now we're ready to go. They're set up for the extra point. Only 20 seconds left in the half. Crocker, the senior kicker. Extra point is on the way. And he'll boom it through. It's 14 to seven. Bearcats with the lead. Final 20 seconds of the half coming up in just a moment. Linrich Contracting is a family run business specializing in commercial and residential construction. The Key family has been involved in the construction business in South Carolina since the 1940s. Linrich Contracting is committed to providing quality construction in an organized and timely manner. With this commitment, you can be assured that one of our owners will be on site daily to monitor progress, quality, and any issues that may arise. To find out more, visit us at linrichcontracting.com. Linrich Contracting, building a better tomorrow today. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. And welcome back to Bearcat Stadium. Mike Hagan's Trey Jackson. Rex Hagan's producing for us tonight. 20 seconds left. And if you're Philip Simmons, you try a hard squib kick, maybe get a ricochet. Luke Mayfield to kick it off. And a high kick. And Bearcats trying to return nothing, doing there. Good tackle here by special teams for Philip Simmons. So the Bearcats with the final 19 seconds in. I think you just take a knee right here, Trey. Yeah, so that was a risky there on that uh, kick return. I think number three from Brooklyn K City did a fair catch. But like you said, uh, right now I just go ahead and kneel down and get in the halftime with a 14 7 lead. I wouldn't try to risk anything here, partner. Yeah, David Daniels did a good job of catching it. He did. Got to yeah, give him credit for that. We got an update, and this score surprises me. Crestwood 30 to nothing over Buford in the second. So it looks like the winner of this game is going to get Crestwood. Yes, sir. Shotgun snap by Young, claps his hands, turns around, hands it off to Washington. Washington weaves in and out of traffic. Going to get it up near the 40. He'll go down at the 38 with 10 seconds left. Should be the final play as both teams head in the locker room, and BC will get the second half kickoff. So that's the good news. And that will do it for the Bearcats. Here in the first half, 14 to 7 lead for the Bearcats. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back with the stats and be joined by Dr. Vance Jones, BC High School principal. That is all on the way. You're listening to Bearcat Football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington and Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com.
If you're looking for an auto repair shop that you can trust, you found us here at Lorix Auto Repair. We know how important it is to find a car service you can rely on, so your satisfaction is our top priority each and every day. You will feel the difference that exceptional customer care makes when you work with Lorix Auto Repair. We know our team sets us apart, saving you time and money, not to mention worry. Be sure to stop in and see us weekdays from 8 to 5.30 at 4804 Augusta Road in Lexington, or visit us online at lorixauto.com. Yeah. Krantz Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity, transparency, and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction. To find out more or to schedule an appointment, visit us at KrantzCooling.com. Krantz with a K and cooling with a K. If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington, Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. Burkett Burkett and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947, and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities, and we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit SimplySouthernRealtySC.com. And welcome back to Bearcat Stadium. Boy, this game lived up to the hype so far. 14-7, Bearcats with a slim lead, and BC got the ball with, what, about two and a half, two minutes, 40 seconds left in the half. Yes, sir. Not able to eat a lot of clock. They had the ball, and they got a... Uh, Forced a, a fourth down conversion and got the ball back. Couldn't eat any clock. And we had a chance if we could have put a drive together to take a 21 to nothing lead at the half. We end up having to punt it. A short punt gave them the ball at their own 49-yard line. 51-yard drive. And, boy, they're right back in it. Absolutely. you got to give a lot of credit to Phillip Simmons on that drive. It was a huge fourth and four. And they were able to convert on that fourth and four. Yeah. And led to a touchdown. So, got to give those kids a lot of credit because they haven't given up. And it is a football game now. Yeah, it absolutely is. Let's take a look at our stats here at Yes, sir. So far, I got um, number eight there, uh, Javon Edwards. He has eight carries for 46 yards, and he has a 31-yard touchdown off of that. Deshaun Watson has 11 carries for, th for 43 yards, and he has a touchdown. And Will Young has eight carries for 49 yards. And another key stat here that's important here for Brooklyn KC is they've only got one penalty so far, and that's huge for those guys. That is. That is absolutely huge. Well, 10-11 left here in the half. Uh, again, our score right now, BC with a lead 14-7. And more importantly, we get the second-half kickoff. That's very important. Very important to BC get the second half kickoff, and we'll see what they do when they come back on halftime. Yeah, and we'll talk with Trey before we go back to the third quarter. We've got an interview coming up with Dr. Vance Jones, new BC principal, coming up in just a moment. Bear Can Football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa. We're the gentle pet pampering specialists, and we're certified dog groomers. We're open Monday through Saturday by appointment. You can call or text us at 803-543-8752. That's 803-543-8752. 
We are located at 1408 Charleston Highway in West Columbia. We are in the lower level of the Tropic Air Santa's Closet Building. Be sure to mention you heard about us on the Dove 1620. You can also follow us on Facebook, Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa, the gentle pet pampering specialist. In South Carolina's fields, whether you're producing food or football, you'll find people of uncommon character and grit. That's why Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore supports the Bearcats and the Eagles. He sees something he recognizes in those players. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore provides protection and peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance. Give Stacy a call today to see if he can help at 803-609-5431. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore is always the home team. Call Stacy today at 803-609-5431. Tonight's halftime show continues on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Welcome to our halftime show tonight on the Palmetto State Sports Network, and we are joined by Brooklyn Casey High School principal, Dr. Vance Jones. Good evening, Dr. Jones. Really appreciate you joining us here tonight. Well, I really appreciate you guys having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, Dr. Jones, you've served in a variety of roles throughout your illustrious career in education, including time in Lexington, too. From 2001 to 2005, you were at airport to start with, and then at Busby. What was it about Brooklyn Casey High School that drew you here? Um, first of all, Lexington, too, is just a special place. Yeah. Um, then did some research on Brooklyn Casey High School and looked at the rich tradition and, you know, just thinking about the community and the way that they support this school, um, the students, the building, the teachers. Um, I, I just knew this was a place that I felt like I could fit in and just come in and try to make a difference. You were at Spartanburg High School from 2019 until last year. During your time there, Spartanburg High was named one of the top 12% of high schools in the country. That's pretty heady, heady territory, Doctor. Those are some lofty achievements that I'm sure take some time, but what are both your short-term and long-term goals here at Brooklyn Casey? Um, again, Brooklyn Casey is definitely a special place. They have a rich tradition of academic excellence. Um, we had a good run in, in Spartanburg. But I believe we can have the same type run here. As far as short-term goals, of course, we're working on just the little things, the things that the board has put in place as far as IDs, dress code, and teaching students just to get to class on time. Once we work on those small things, then those big things will take care of themselves. Um, as far as my long-term goals, you know, we can be one of the top high schools in the state easily. You know, there's just a couple of small fixes, things that we're doing you know, currently as, you know, a staff, as the administrators, as well as teachers, just making sure the instructional part of this building um, is taking care of itself. And so we're working hard as far as, you know, making sure all of our PDs are done. We're, you know, right. getting all the training that we need. And so once we get all those things in place, then we'll be one of the top high schools in the state. We'll, you know, our AP scores will take off. Our EOC scores will take off. And so we're excited about the direction that we're moving in. Well, if you're just joining us here at the half, we're joined by BC High School Principal Dr. Vance Jones. Dr. Jones, athletics played a large role in your life. In high school, you played football, basketball, and ran track at Allendale Fairfax and then went on to play football at Wofford for Coach Mike Ayers. Talk about the role that athletics and extracurricular activities play for the students. Athletics are, I mean, they're just huge. You know, when you look at all the leadership components that come to it, the team building part of it. Um, you know, when students get, get those skills in place, and you know, a lot of our athletes are some of our leaders mm -hmm. inside the classroom, inside the building. You know, the team building part of it, they being able to work with somebody else, um, encouraging each other. And that's what we're looking for, not only on the field, but also in these classrooms. We want leadership. We want encouragement. We want team building. We want to be able to work together, you know, for a common goal. And right now, you know, on the field tonight, you know, our common goal is to get a win. And, our, you know, our boys are looking good tonight. And then as far as, you know, in the classroom, we want to get wins there as well. Yes, sir. You know, we want them to spill over into the classroom. We want to get in there and do what we're supposed to do. 
do great on those standardized tests, get a lot of students moving on to college, career, or the workforce. We want to be that, you know, that catapult that sends those kids to their, you know, next steps in life. And Dr. Jones, you're kind of being um, humble about your career at Wofford. I was looking at your stat <laughs> line, Dr. Jones. 56 tackles your senior year, three tackles for losses. You forced a fumble, and I think you had about five quarterback hurries. So talk a little, if you don't mind, share a little bit of your career at Wofford and your progression there. First of all, Wofford is just a great education. It's a great place um, to grow up and, you know, learn more about yourself and, Playing for someone like Coach Ayers, a legend in the coaching yeah. game here in South Carolina, um, it, it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot. Um, those stats might be a little inflated, but you know, I was lucky to be able to go on scholarship and play, and then you know, continue my career. So it was a great experience. Again, Wofford's a great place, and has been very instrumental in who I am. Yeah, we've got a lot of Bearcats through the years that have went on to Wofford as well. Well, you start. Your career as a teacher as well as coaching football, basketball, and track. What led you to get in the administrator role? Well, I truly enjoy teaching. I was a business ed teacher starting off and was able to coach and, you know, affect a lot of students through my classroom as well as, you know, on and off the fields. But, you know, when I looked at the overall picture, I just knew that as an administrator, I could really affect the system as a whole. And so starting off, of course, I have my classroom of about 100 kids. But when you, you know, truly look at it, you know, at some of the bigger high schools that I've worked at, I was, a, I was able to affect thousands of kids. Yeah. You know, just getting to know them and, you know, figuring out what their plans are after, you know, high school and just trying to push them in those directions. You know, just, again, encouraging them. Uh, and so I felt like that was the direction I wanted to go. And so I've enjoyed it. I've been doing it for a long time, seems like. And I asked you before the interview, when you're at a football game or a sporting event, there's something inside you, that competitor, that you've got to miss being out on that field, uh, even playing our coach. And it's just something about the game, isn't there? Oh, absolutely. I love it. I love, you know, anywhere the kids are, anywhere games are going on, I want to be there. I've coached about almost everything except probably baseball and softball. And so just standing out there watching and, you know, thinking, oh, if they would have done this a yeah. little different or that a little different. But our coaches are doing a great job here at Brooklyn Casey, so I'm excited to see, you know, where, where our programs go. Well, Dr. Jones, who have been some of your mentors along the way? Wow. You know, I'd, I'd have to definitely go back to Jim Taylor. He was the first principal. He was principal at Dutch Fork. He was the first principal that I had who kind of planted the seed in me to go into administration. And so that was very early on in my career. So Jim Taylor, who was at Dutch Fork and came to Allendale, as well as Benny Bennett, who um, passed away a couple of years ago. He was my superintendent in Newberry County, as well as um, Dr. Russell Brooker, who was the former superintendent in Spartanburg and now works at SAM in Spartanburg, but just does, you know, great things. All of them poured into me and I take, you know, the way that I handle business in and out, out of schools from, you know, some of the things I saw with all of them. That's amazing. Well, if you're just joining us here at the half, we're joined by BC High School Principal Dr. Vance Jones. Final question, Dr. Jones, for our alumni listening tonight or watching uh, who want to give back to Brooklyn KC High School, how can they do so? Well, you know, the easiest thing to do is, you know, give us your time. Yes, you know, sir. Time is more valuable mm -hmm. than anything. So, you know, just getting in the building, you know, when they can, you know, we have open doors. You know, we want as many people seeing the great things that I think we're doing. Um, and so just, you know, come back, volunteer, you know, mentor, mentor some of our kids, yeah. give of your time. We have halftime going now um, at Brooklyn Casey High School, not the halftime that we're doing with this show, but it's a program that yes, we sir. started. And so, you know, just coming back to speak to our kids, um, just talk, you know, impart knowledge into them. That's always a great thing. And so, you know, anytime they can come back, spend some time. Um, talk about their careers and what they're doing now and how they got to that point in their career. Um, it's always good for our kids to hear. And so we're always looking for speakers um, and just, you know, people to come in, especially our Brooklyn Casey High School alumni, um, just to come in and give back. 
Well, very well said, Dr. Jones. Listen, we are so thrilled to have you here at Brooklyn, Casey. Already see your mark on the school, even though we're only a few months in here. But we are so grateful to have you here, and thanks for being here for us. Well, thank you for having me tonight, and I'm very glad to be here. And go Bearcats. Go Bearcats, indeed. That's BC Principal Dr. Vance Jones. Stick around the second half right around the corner right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Hey, y'all. It's Everly. And Victoria Pichy was so Everly Perfect Photography. Your local photographer specializing in newborn, maternity, and lifestyle photography. We now offer both outdoor and private in-studio sessions. Are you looking for that perfect photographer? One that is patient and will gladly take care of every detail so that you can relax and enjoy your session? Visit So Everly Perfect Photography on Facebook and let's capture your next milestone. A message to my mommy. If you're looking for an auto repair shop that you can trust, you found us here at Lorix Auto Repair. We know how important it is to find a car service you can rely on, so your satisfaction is our top priority each and every day. You will feel the difference that exceptional customer care makes when you work with Lorix Auto Repair. We know our team sets us apart, saving you time and money, not to mention worry. Be sure to stop in and see us weekdays from 8 to 5.30 at 4804 Augusta Road in Lexington, or visit us online at lorixauto.com. Sandy Run Exterminating has been a local family-owned business serving the Midlands since 1991. All of our technicians are licensed and backed by years of experience in the pest control industry. Our technicians and repair specialists are ready, willing, and able to meet all of your pest control and repair needs. All of our applications are eco-friendly and safe to apply around children, pets, and plants. Our technicians go the extra mile to assure your safety. To find out more, visit SandyRunExterminating.com. Experience, character, and integrity. Sandy Run Exterminating. Grant's Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity, transparency, and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction. To find out more or to schedule an appointment, visit us at KrantzCooling.com. Krantz with a K and cooling with a K. Hey, this is Kurt Pichy, a proud sponsor of Bearcat Sports and Class of 82 graduate. As the owner of Creekside Restaurant located in Old Mill, Lexington, we're happy to continue our support of our young athletes as they continue to do what they love. Creekside is open Monday through Saturday, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., serving breakfast and lunch daily. We also have delivery services available. Remember, breakfast, lunch, or brunch, the choice is yours. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit SimplySouthernRealtySC.com. And welcome back here to Bearcat Stadium. Mike Hagan's Trey Jackson here with you. Rex Hagan's producing tonight. And glad you could join us tonight. We're going to have some more score updates for you at the half. Gilbert and Hanahan all tied up from Hanahan. 21 all. That's another good ball game. Yeah, it absolutely is. There are a lot of good games tonight. Let's see, we got another one. Uh, wow, 44 to nothing, Crestwood at the half. So apparently, uh, we're going to play the winner of that game. Whoever wins tonight out of this game is going to play Crestwood. And then you've got Camden uh, right now, 28 to 21 over Dillon. So that's working out. Yes, sir. And then White Knoll, 34 to nothing over Fort Dorchester. So a lot of good games going on tonight. Glad you could join us here for Brooklyn Casey and Philip Simmons. The Iron Horse is set to kick off to the Bearcats to start the second half. Bearcat with a 14-7 lead and a short pooch kick. Going to be fielded by the Bearcats. Loose ball. And I think BC ended up landed on it right at about the 43-yard line, making sure BC does have it. And it will be Bearcat football. I'll tell you what, problem. we were very fortunate on that. We was lucky to come up with that ball there because it looks like Philip Simmons was trying to do a little pooch, chip, pooch kick. And, boy, they've executed that a couple of times very well tonight. First and 10 on 43-yard line. Bear cancel. Come out on the field. First drive of the second half. BC scored on their first two drives of the game. Ended up having the ball four times in the first half. Had to punt twice. Back in the gun. Will Young, Washington beside him, gives it to Washington. Washington starts right side, then bounces back outside. Nowhere to run. 
makes his own way past the 45, up near the 47. He'll pick up four, and look like they had him caught dead to rights. Got to give a, a really lot of credit there for Deshaun Washington. It looked like he was calling him in the back. He did a good job of not giving up on the play and converting into a three-yard game. Good job by that kid. Monster game last week against Lake City. 17 carries, 260 yards, two touchdowns, 15 yards a carry. He's got 13-29 on the year. Iwo Jima, jumbo package. Young, ball loose. Washington hung on to it and still drives forward about a yard and a half, two yards shy of the first down. And how he held on to that ball, I have no idea. Man, that ball was bumbling yes, around sir. and up. Yes, sir. He did a good job. They go to say that, that kid has really good hands there. I'll tell yeah, you what. he does. So fumble that ball and still take a hit, that's a good job by Deshaun Washington. Clock at 10.59. BC wants to eat up a lot of clock and score again. Getting great drives on the first two drives of the game and then kind of stalled after that. Third down and two. Five for five on third down conversions. And looks like we got another one here. Going to be right near it. We'll see where they mark it officially. That's real close there, Parker. Well, they're marking it right now initially. It looks like it's going to be just shy. They say, they, they say it's a game of inches, and it's definitely, definitely <laughs> it real sure close is. right there. I don't know if we got a left foot or a right foot spot on this one. They'll bring the chain crew out to measure it. And you'll be able to tell by the crowd's reaction. Good traveling crowd by Philip Simmons tonight. Yeah, sure. Give a, give a lot of credit to them. It's about a two-hour drive, so to be here to support their kids is really good. I don't think before since the stadium's been open, we've seen anything like what Gilbert brought to the table a couple oh, of weeks ago. How about filled up that whole visitor section? Absolutely. That was a crowded game. They'll stretch those chains out. We'll see. Referee standing right in front of the ball, so I can't see it. BC's got the first down. Did not get that by much. Maybe yes, half sir. the football. He barely got it, but he did get it. That's a good That's job. All that matters, That's all that matters. That's all that matters. On third down conversion tonight, I believe that is six for six. That is absolute. That, that's good. That's being efficient on third down. Yeah, and that was one of your keys to the game. 10-27. Bearcats first and 10. They got the ball in Iron Horse territory at the 47. Heavy package again. Turns around. Inside handoff. Going to Javon Edwards. And Javon Edwards going to pick up about four yards inside the 45 down to the 43-yard line. That was a good tackle there by number five from Phillip Simmons and Sherrod Williams. It looks like what Phillip Simmons is trying to do, he's trying to script the ball, so it's important for Brooklyn Casey to try to put both hands on the football. Yeah, that's a good observation. I was about to say the same thing. Clock under 10 minutes to play, second down and six. Plus side of the field at the 43. Mauer checks in the game at tight end. Edwards checking out of the game, as does Castles. Jumbo package again. Young under center, turns around, hands it off to Washington. Washington breaks into the secondary. Here's near the 30, spins inside. Still on his feet as he rumbles up ahead. And they'll mark it down at the 28-yard line. Game of 15 on the play. Another big first down by the Bearcats, Trey. Big first down, that's a big one, and Deshaun Washington did a good job of just moving his feet, moving his feet. He's a strong runner, man. That kid is really, he's a really good football player, Mike. Ball to 28. Bearcats look back to the sideline to get the play from Coach Sharpie. Got the poster boards on the sideline, different signals. Again, he would gym a formation up under center, turns around, Washington totes the mill. Breaks the initial tackle, going to get near the 25, pick up of three on first down, second and seven. You got a feeling that this is a game-defining drive for BC. It is. It's a really important drive here. It's, like you said, it's a game-defining drive. If they can go up 21-7 here, that'd be huge. That would be as, as much as BC's eating the clock up and as much time as Phillip Simmons takes to drive the ball. That's, Correct. That's a huge lead. I said it, man. These both teams have to really value their possessions and be really efficient on third down. And Brooklyn Casey's done a really good job of that so far. Washington with 17 touchdowns and now over 1,400 yards on the season. Young back of the gun, Washington behind him. Turns around, Washington bounces outside, had an opening at first. Breaks a tackle, another stiff arm inside the 15. And he is going to rumble ahead to around the 13, 14-yard line where they mark him down. They'll say down at the 14-yard line. He picks up nine, only needed seven. That's another first down for BC. Yeah, so, but there was a penalty on BC right there. See a flag in the middle of the field. Yeah, must be holding. They'll bring that one back. Oh. 
biggest enemy for BC has been personal foul penalties in this game. But you got to give Brooke Case a great good job tonight. I haven't seen any personal fouls on him tonight. No. And that's only two penalties. He's going to mark him back. He's going to make it a second down and 12. I'll put the ball right hash. Clock moving, 8-10. Opening drive by BC here in the second half, leading this one 14 to seven over Philip Simmons, Region Five versus Region Eight. BC a number one seed, and the winner looks like they're going to get Crestwood, who is big over Georgetown. It won a state title last year. They went at the half 44 to nothing. Yes, sir. Timeout taken on the field. We'll take one with them to hear from Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa. BC leading 14 to seven on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa. We're the gentle pet pampering specialists and we're certified dog groomers. We're open Monday through Saturday by appointment. You can call or text us at 803-543-8752. That's 803-543-8752. We're located at 1408 Charleston Highway in West Columbia. We are in the lower level of the Tropic Air Santa's Closet Building. Be sure to mention you heard about us on the Dove 1620. You can also follow us on Facebook, Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa the gentle pet pampering specialist. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. And welcome back to Bearcat Stadium. 7.54 left in the third quarter. Bearcats lead this one 14-7 over Phillip Simmons and a huge drive for BC. Opening possession of the third quarter. BC got the second half kickoff. And right now, Trey, we have eaten up almost five minutes a clock. Again, this is a fast first quarter. I mean, excuse me, fast third quarter. Shotgun snap by Young. Inside handoff. Washington gets some blockers. Rumbles ahead. Going to be inside the 20. They'll mark him right at the 20. Gain of 10 on the play. That's going to bring up a third and two. That's a big pickup on a second down and long. That's a huge 10 yard pickup there by Deshaun Washington from Gulfview. Second and 12 to 32 was huge. And you got to get about having confidence in your offensive line. Absolutely. Too. There you go. You got to get credit to this offensive line. Those guys are moving people down there tonight. Gain officially of nine. That'll make it a third and three. Bearcats six for six on third down conversions tonight. Trying to make it seven of seven. Iwo Jima. Young under center. Turns around. Gives it to Washington. Got some lead blockers. And he breaks in the clear up near the 10. They'll say his knee went down at the 12, so more than enough for a first down. So seven for seven on third downs tonight. I tell you what, Deshaun Watts, he is wearing those defenders down there for Phillip Simmons. I tell you what, those couple of games he missed late in the year, then he got deemed up a little bit in the Gilbert game. Seems like he's well rested. Absolutely, yes, sir. Utmost healthy right now. First down and 10 from the 12. Bearcats taking their time. Now over a five minute drive. Clock at 6.55. Jumbo package. Shotgun formation. Young keeping it. Taking the right side. Near the hash. Bounces it outside. Weaves. Breaks a tackle. Trying to rip the ball out. He gets down to the two. It's going to be near another first down. And they're going to say right at the one yard line. So it'll be a first and goal from the one yard line for BC here. I'll tell you what, Booker is doing exactly what you want to do there. They're doing a good job of taking their time, using yeah. the clock, and getting positive yards. Clock at 641. Stops momentarily. Now to start back. Almost a six-minute drive here on the opening possession That's of the incredible. third quarter. We said it could be a defining drive of the game right here. It's 14 to 7. BC trying to tack onto that lead. Iwo Jima formation. Young gives to Washington. Washington in the end zone. He can smell it. Touchdown, Bearcats. Touchdown to Sean Washington. And the Bearcats go up 20 to 7. That is just what the doctor ordered, Trey. Absolutely. That was a great job by the Brooklyn Casey Bearcats. That's a great job. Did a good job of chewing a lot of clock off there and getting in for a nice touchdown to go at 21 7. Almost a six minute drive. Five minutes and 43 seconds. Extra point coming up by Maurer. He has been perfect all year. Snap back, hold by Sox. Kick is on the way and he booms it through. 21 to seven, Bearcats. 6.17 left in the third back with more in a moment. Bearcat football here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are 
committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. And welcome back. Mauer to kick it off and puts it in the end zone. So they'll start from the 20, 21 to 7. A game defining drive, possibly Trey. Uh, with that one, Bearcats eat up almost six minutes of clock, five minutes and 43 seconds. Camp with a touchdown from one yard out by Deshaun Washington. Part of that was 11 play, 57 yard touchdown drive. That is unreal. That is just what we needed. Now, Phillip Simmons trying to answer the bell. Split backfield. Turns around, hands it off. Plow forward up near the 25, still moving 26. Gain a six on first down. Good job there by number 20 there from Brooklyn Casey. Our guy again, Keenan Rose, for another, another big hit. Split backfield again with Williams to the right. Sends a man in motion right to left. Shotgun snap. And Williams breaks a tackle. He's in the clear. 40, 45, cuts back inside and gets near midfield. Wow, what a big time run there by number five, Sarai Williams. Huge run there with a nice nifty move. Boy, he stopped on the dime and left a nickels change on that one. 45 clock moving. Phillip Simmons trying to answer the bell down by two scores, 21 to seven. Bearcats with the lead. Winner will advance to play Crestwood. Crestwood up 44 to nothing at the half against Buford. Ball right at the mid line strike. Ball far hash. Split backfield again. Shotgun snap. Orlando wants to heave one deep. Got a man open. And ball batted around. Good coverage by the BC secondary. It doesn't get any better than that. That was great coverage there by number six, Jordan Boston. To be able to run yeah. with number two, Troy Stevenson, that's a good job by that And you talked about Troy Stevenson to be a kid we wanted to keep our eye on Yes, tonight. sir. He's getting a lot of, he's actually already committed, isn't he, to he Georgia is, Tech? Georgia Tech commit. He is a special athlete. Clock at 5.15, that'll stop the clock, second and 10. Orlando, back in the gun. Turns around, hands it off. Williams trying to get a full head of steam, and BC takes him down. Short gain on the play, picks up maybe a yard and a half right at the 49, so a gain officially of one. Third down and nine. And that was a tackle there by number 18, Mason Springs. Brooklyn Casey doing a good job tonight. To this team here, Phillip Simmons, late in the third quarter, the seven points. Yeah. That's big time football, partner. BC on the year giving up 18.4 points a game. Giving up about 269 yard a game. Third down and nine, 49 yard line. Shotgun snap. Orlando wants to keep it, and he is going to be stopped short. And I think that tells you right there, it gives you a little mindset of what Coach Mendig wants to do. He's going to obviously go for it right here. We want to pick up, maybe perhaps try to get half of it. Yeah, so he has no choice but to go for it here. This is a huge four down. You don't have a lot of more possession left no, in this game. No, you so sure don't. He just, it's no, ch no choice here at all, Trey. He just has to. It's, it's an absolutely no-brainer to go for it. And Bearcats coach Stacy Bell trying to get a stop on the defensive side of the ball. 4.08 left, third quarter, fourth and six. Ball at the 46. Got to hit it right at the 40 to move those chains. Ball right hash. Tight formation. Orlando takes the snap, drops back, scans the field under pressure, steps up, dumps it off, incomplete. And the Bearcats will get another turnover on down second time tonight, Trey. That's a great start there by the Bearcats. Really good defense there to get that team Phyllis Simmons off the field. Oh, my goodness. If you're Coach Sharpie and this offense, if you can get one more touchdown right here, 
Uh, still lots of time left, but if you can eat up the rest of this quarter and get a touchdown, you go up by three touchdowns, and that's hard to get that in the fourth quarter when BC eats up so much clock. Ball near a hash, right at the 46-yard line. Young, inside, and on. Devon in. Great to tackle, gets down to the 42. And boy, that inside handoff has been absolutely big all yes, night sir. long. That inside handoff has really, it's been really, really good tonight. It's been good for the last three or four games. So it looks yeah. like, like I said, that's a good play for the Bearcats. 334, we're going to take our time, get the line of scrimmage. Lock at 30 seconds. Thanks for listening on the Palmetto State Sports Network on our app, or if you're watching on YouTube tonight. Also, Network One Sports as well. So many links, just go to our Facebook page to see it. Palmetto State Sports Network. Young takes the snap. Going to hand it off right side. Spins around. Going to get near the 35. Went down at the 36. Picks up six yards on a first down. Second down and four for BC. Down the tackle there by number 13, uh, Michael Spornado from Phillip Simmons. Absolutely vocal leader on that team for them. Got a timeout on the field. I'm not sure it's an injured player down. But BC all-time uh, under Coach Sharpie, seven and three in the second round playoff games. And under Coach Sharpie, you talk about a revitalized program, made it to the quarterfinals four times during his time here, lower state championship game two times. Unfortunately, lost to Dylan both of those games. Yes, sir. Once here and once there. And again, on the line tonight, the winner will advance to the quarterfinals where they look likely to face uh, going to be Crestwood. They're up 44 to nothing at the half against Buford. Yes, sir. But you don't want to look ahead here. There's a lot of talent left in the game. It's not a lot of talent in the way these both teams you know, run the football, yeah. but you want to go ahead and. Well, what it does, too, is it make if you can score a touchdown right here, it forces Phillip Simmons to go out of character. It takes it away the running game for them. They're going to start to throw the ball. Absolutely. That's something they don't want to do. But if they go down 28-7, they're going to have no yeah. choice but to throw the football. You're right. Your attention Three minutes left. The band is selling Third quarter. Isn't that funny? The last couple of days, you would have never imagined tonight we'd be selling hot chocolate. That temperature has really plummeted tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. It was gorgeous today. It was warm. I had a hoodie on at the start of the morning and had to rip that thing off about 10.30 in the morning. Absolutely. All we know was like really good weather in the 70s and 80s, and now, you know, it's, it's cool tonight. So it's, that's the South Carolina weather. It's football weather. Iwo Jima formation. Lee blockers right side gives to Washington. Washington in the clear. Big collision. Stays on his feet inside the 30, down to the 28. And another conversion by the Bearcats. They'll move the chains. And a big shout-out to Mr. Lewis Marshall, listening from Clemson Town. It's some time playing some football, uh, baseball up there. A tremendous catcher for BC the last four seasons. And looking for big things from Ty. Clock at 2.15. Bearcats' is second possession of the third quarter and ate up almost six minutes on the first drive. And... And there's no need to be in a hurry right here. You, you control and everything. You can do whatever you want right now if you're the Brooklyn case of Bearcat. Still got 10 seconds to get the playoff as well. Iwo Jima lead blockers right side. Young under center. Gives to Washington. Washington gets inside the 25, down to the 24. Picks up three on first down. And again, by the time BC snaps and again, you're going to be about a minute left in the yes, third sir. quarter. We took over, what, with three minutes left in the third quarter? That is correct. That is correct. BC is doing exactly what you want. They had the perfect formula here to be able to run the football at a high level with a good offensive line to trip a lot of clock. So Brooklyn Case is right where they want to be. Ball 24-yard line. Just outside the red zone for the Bearcats. Keeper by Young. And he's going to be shy of the first down. They're going to mark him down at about the 17, 18-yard line. If I was Coach Sharp, I'd keep running in and running in and running. Killing yep. the clock. And I don't believe we attempted a pass tonight, have we? We have not. Only four passes the previous two weeks. Buford won the state championship in 3A last year without throwing a single pass in the championship game. It can be done. And Brim Casey also ran the ball at such a high level tonight. I've only kind of about one or two or three losses there. So that's, that's really good football. They're running the ball really good tonight. Against a, again, probably the best team we've faced all year. Young goes up under center, seven for seven on third down conversions. Gives to Washington, and they smother him right there. They're not going to get a conversion right there. 
But I don't think there's any decision right here you go for it. I, you, you think a field goal gives you another possession lead. Mauer, a great kicker, but you got him on the ropes right here. You got to go for that haymaker. You got to go for it. You got to go ahead and put the nail in the coffin on this play, partner. Fourth down and one. Final seconds will tick off of the play. The Bearcats will have time to think about it and draw up the perfect play. As the clock rolls out, 21 to 7, we'll come back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. At Simply Southern Realty, we know that buying a home or selling a home is one of the biggest and most exciting decisions a person can make. We aim to make the process as simple as possible. Our team of local experts here at Simply Southern Realty is ready to guide you through the home buying and selling process. We are committed to fast, professional, and courteous service to help you understand and feel at ease throughout the process. Our trained and licensed agents at Simply Southern Realty specialize in the greater Lexington and Columbia area real estate market and are prepared to help you every step of the way. Please be sure to visit us at our website, simplysouthernrealtysc.com. It features the most in-depth information on local homes, neighborhoods, and schools. We are dedicated to providing you with the resources you need when researching the greater Lexington and Columbia real estate market. Please feel free to call us at Simply Southern with any questions at 803-399-8363. We're located at 528 Columbia Avenue in Lexington. Simply Southern Realty. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. And here we go. Fourth quarter just about underway. Bearcats with a fourth and one. They've got it down on Phillip Simmons' 18-yard line. Got to get it to 17. Tell you what, chance to deliver that final blow right here if you can Get the first down and then eat some more clock up and get a touchdown. This is a huge, huge possession here for Phillip Sims. The one to stand again, they got to get the Brooklyn Casey Bear because off the field here on fourth down. Bearcats wearing maroon jerseys, white pants, maroon and white stripes, maroon helmets with a white interlock in BC. And Phillip Simmons, white jerseys, white pants, black numbers, black helmet with the purple logo on the side of the helmet and purple stripes on the sleeves. Going to bunch up again, Iwo Jima, young up under center. Turns around, hands it off to Washington. Washington into the clear. He's got the first down. And down at the 11-yard line. And Trey a chance to eat up some more clock right here. Deshaun Washington's running like a maniac, and now he refused to go down. Big time run there by that kid on that play. Tell you what, going to be a tough decision for player of the game tonight. I know, because there's a lot of kids playing well tonight. Eight minutes left in the third quarter. Gilbert leading 28-21 to on the road in Hanahan. Go Indians. 11.40, clock continues to move. BC taking its time. First and 10 from 11. Again, they can get a first down right at the one yard line. That's important. Iwo Jima formation, lead blockers to the left. Hands off, Washington trying to get some running room, breaks a tackle inside the five. Right at the four yard line, we'll call it. Another big gain there by Deshaun Washington there on first down. Yeah, sure was. He doesn't look the least bit tired. He looks like he can play about another whole other game there. <laughs> he does. Got a lot of been, energy. Been playing some defense tonight, too. Second down and three from the four. You can also tell two part. It, it seems like Brick and Casey wanted more. Yeah. You know, they're playing like they want to win this game and get to the third round. Again, would be the fifth trip to the quarterfinals under Coach Sharpie. Iwo Jim again. The blockers left side, young under center. Turns around. Washington gets the ball. Got some lead blockers. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats. And again, Deshaun Washington hits pay dirt. Four yards out, and that'll put the Bearcats up 27 to seven. Boy, this has been an impressive performance yes, tonight, Trey. This has been an absolutely impressive performance. Look, it's been a, it's been a classic performance by Brooklyn Casey Bearcats. One of the best that they had all year. I long. agree, and I thought the Gilbert game was going to be tough to beat, but. This has been very dominating so far. Still plenty of time left, though. Now we're to attempt the extra point. This could make him 60 for 60 on the year. Kick is up on the way. And he misses his first one wow. of the year. The streak ends 27-7. Bearcats with the lead. We'll take a quick timeout. Back with more in a moment. You're listening to Bearcat Football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network as we hear from West Metro News and Terry Ward. This is Terry Ward of WestMetroNews.com. West Metro News brings you the most impactful and interesting stories from West Columbia, Casey, Springdale, Pine Ridge, South Congaree, and Lexington. 
the students of Airport and Brooklyn Casey High Schools are also a key part of the West Metro News coverage. Our focus is to publicize your child's accomplishments. West Metro News includes middle schools and elementary schools in its coverage, too. So log on to westmetronews.com and get news about the people you care most about. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. And another big touchdown drive by the Bearcats. Ate up again, almost five minutes, Trey, camping with a touchdown by Deshaun Washington. That's been a familiar storyline so far tonight. Bearcats lead this one 27-7, and John Maurer misses his first extra point of the year. It's been a spectacular year for him. As if he booms this one. Squib kick and recovered by Philip Simmons right at the 45-yard line. So a good job of getting on the ball and being able to cover that for them was Bryce Smalls, the linebacker. And so to go back to what you just said on that previous drive by Brooklyn Casey, that was an 11-play drive, 54 yards, and ended up being a touchdown. So that's like three or four long drives that the Brooklyn Casey has had to get touched on. So they're doing a good job of just chewing the clock and keeping Philip Simmons' offense cold and off the field. Yeah, great point. Philip Simmons going to have to throw the ball, you would think. Alana back in shotgun, single back set. Turns around and bottled up and taken down Asbury with nowhere to run right there. Actually loses a yard on the play. And that was a tackle by the kicker there. Malware, that was a big time tackle. You got to give Brim Case a lot of credit as well. They've done a great job of slowing down KJ Asbury. A guy who's almost had 2,000 yards rushing. Yeah, he, uh, after tonight, yeah. he's already had 2,000, I would imagine. He only right. needed, what, 83? That's correct. Yes, sir. So should have that by now. He's leading rusher in school history for them, well over 4,000 yards. Very impressive career for that young man. Shotgun snap. Orlando sends a man in motion. Orlando going to keep it himself. Angles left side going to be right near midfield at the 50. Still got five yards to go. It's going to be a third down and five. I'm going to be honest with you, Port. I'm just very surprised that Phillips Simmons is coming out here yeah. running the football. You would think that since they're down by 20 points, they're trying to air the ball out a little bit, but it's like they're still sticking to what they do best. Orlando come to the line of scrimmage. Checks off with his offensive lineman back in shotgun. Asbury set up to his right. Man in motion right to left. Taking a lot of time here. Orlando claps his hands. Clock at 9.22, 9.21. Still got 10 seconds to get it off, though. Just no sense of urgency in it seem right now. Trips left side. Shotgun snap. Scans the field. Swing pass to Asbury. Asbury near the 40 and finally taken down, and the Heat gets the first down on a nice pickup on the play, close to 10 yards. Nice pickup there by Asbury, and there's a nice uh, game tackle there by number 15 from Brooklyn Casey, and that's John Weed. John Weed, a transfer, also a baseball player. Looking forward to seeing him on the diamond in a couple of months. Orlana. Quick pass out in the flats. Complete 40, 35, 30. Got to stop him right there. And he'll get down to the 30-yard line pass complete to Troy Stevenson, the Georgia Tech commit. And he is a playmaker. But I tell you yes, what, is. they've mixed up with some runs and some passes, and they haven't used a whole lot of time. Still less than two minutes on this drive. If you're broken case, you don't want to get too comfortable because there's still, still a lot of time to go. You want to still play your good defense. Arlon and Asbury back in the backfield. Double wing set. Stevenson in motion, gets the end around. Cuts it inside, breaks another tackle, and finally slowing down as he gets inside the 25, right near the 24. And another flag's gonna come out late. Not sure if you saw anything. That's on the far side of the field. Yes, sir. I mean, what I did see is I seen number 58 there from Phillip Simmons, offensive lineman, he was tied up with one of Brooklyn Casey players. They were just trying to get off the ground, but I don't know what happened. It looks like it may go on Phillip Simmons. We'll see if that could be a huge that penalty. Would be really huge. Personal foul. Yep. You know how the saying goes, partner. Oh, They're going to be offsetting penalties. Okay, okay. Good call by the referee. On the 24 yard line, second down and five. A line on the shotgun. Gives to Asbury. Asbury right up the gut. Dragging a couple of defenders with him inside the 20. And going to be close to another first down, maybe just shy. It's going to be a third down and one right here. They're trying to hurry up. Under eight minutes to play. 
That was Bearcats a real strong lead, 27 to 7. Yeah, so that was a real strong run there by number 21, the Asbury kid. But they got to they got to be a little bit more. Hurry up. They're taking yeah, a lot of time here. Not a real here. big sense of urgency right here. Right. Orlando back in the gun, Asbury beside him. Gives to Asbury like he shot out of a cannon, but then bottled up, gets the first down. But not a whole lot more gets down to the 15-yard line. I tell you what, Brooklyn K did a really good job there by closing that hole for a, for a low gain. That was a great talk about number 55, Anton Ford. Well, really the good thing is you're making them use a lot of clock right here. Right not now, giving up the big play. That is that is correct. Right now, you're doing Brooklyn Case a lot of doing them doing them a favor by just taking your time. 7:25, clock moves. Orlando back at the gun, shrimps left side, clears him out. Looks to Asbury out of the backfield and incomplete. That'll stop the clock, bring it up a second down and 10. 7.15 to go in the game. Again, tonight's winner will get the winner between Crestwood and Buford. Third quarter in that game. Right now, Crestwood leading 44 to nothing. Got another wow. update from Hanahan. They're all tied up at 28. That's another good game. Like I said, there's a lot of good football being played around here in the state. Second down and 10. Phillip Simmons with the ball on BC 15-yard line. Drops back, throws a fade pattern to Stevens. Got it. Boy, what a smooth looking oh, man, catch right there. That was a beautiful reception by Stevenson. And let's give some credit to Orlando, too. Yes, what a great pass, soft touch on that play. And they've cut it in half. Big extra point right here. I call it a Wi Fi. I call it a Wi Fi pass because <laughs> that was good connection. <laughs> I like that. I like it. 7 10 left. Extra point attempt coming up. Crocker to make it a 13 point game. Still two possessions. Snap back. Kick up on the way. And it's good. And just like that, a 13 point game. 27 to 14. Bearcats still with the lead and set to get the ball back. Back with more in a moment. Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Burkett, Burkett, and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947, and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities. And we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit SimplySouthernRealtySC.com. Welcome back to Bearcat Football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. 7-10 left in the game. And Phillip Simmons has got within 13 points after that nice drive. Onside kick on the way. Loose ball, but they're going to blow it dead. Not sure if there's a legal procedure, maybe an offside. Let's get some credit there to Phillip Simmons. They did a good job of scoring on that last position. It goes to show that the kids still have a lot of heart, and they're not giving up. And they didn't give up on the run game either, and they it looks didn't. like that was the right decision. Yes, sir. Hands off to Coach Bendig. Good mix of run and pass right there with Stevenson camping it off with a touchdown grab from 15 yards out. They'll back it up five yards and tee it up at the 35. Cronker set to kick off. You can see the good hands team up there for BC. Looks like they're going to angle towards that right side of BC. High bounce. Phillip Simmons saying they got it. And they might well have. That was a perfect kick. They do got it. I'll tell oh you what, my partner. goodness. He goes to show why that, why that Crocker kid is a north-south all-star. Yeah. He's a great kicker. That was a great on-south kick there. He, great spin on that great football. Spin on the ball. Well, BC defense, after a drive, going to have to come back out there quick. Got to find a way to stop or all right. That is a sure. brand new ball game. Man in motion right to left. Load up that left side. Williams takes the handoff. Little shake and bake. Still on his feet. Breaks a tackle. Picks up eight yards. Going to get past the 45. Up near the 44. Gain of five. That was a nice run there by number five from Phillip Simmons. Sherrod Williams. He, good pickup. But the Brigham Case of Bearcats. You got to be careful here. They still got to play play good defense. 
They're running. The game is not over. Now. The game is not over. 642 in county, second down and three. Orlando back in shotgun. Going to get a timeout by BC, trying to regroup themselves with 638 left. Quick timeout, back with more Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. And hey, welcome back to Bearcat Stadium. Mike Hagan's Trey Jackson after a successful onside kick. Philip Simmons got the ball back and they're on the move. Right at the 44-yard line of BC. Orlana sends a man with the H-back spot, turns around, hands off, and slipping on the play is Williams. He falls down at the 44, and thankfully, it looked like he had a little bit of he running did, room. He did, he did. like the turf monster got, got number <laughs> five that time. But good for BC, because like you said, it looked like he was on for a good game. Third down and three, four down territory right here. Asbury back in the game, right side of Orlano. Trips right side, wide side, gives to Asbury. And he's going to be near that first down marker. Breaks a tackle and finally tackled. Coming up with the tackle for the Bearcats was Daniels. But he gets it right at the 39, another first down. I'll tell you what, I mean, that was a strong run by number 21, Asbury. You can see why this kid yeah. is as good as he is. Well, thinking ahead, if Phillip Simmons finds a way to score right here, they don't even have to, if they score quick enough, they don't even have to kick the onside kick. Because they got three timeouts. They do. Two receivers either side. Orlando and Asbury in the same backfield, drops back, looking deep, fires middle of the field. Got a man open, but overthrows him. And breaking for that ball was Ellington, not able to catch yes, up with it. Second down and 10, that does stop the clock though with 5.43 to play. So you gotta give a lot of credit to Phillips and the world. They're, they're doing a good job opening the playbook. He's yeah. doing what they do. They're not, yeah. they're not in panic mode right now. No, they sure aren't. 5.43 and counting. Bearcats looking for a big stop. Only, uh, what we would have we had? Two turnovers tonight? Only two turnovers. But a pretty clean play game. Orlano sends Ellington left to right. Put trips right side, short side of the field. Orlano, quick screen pass to Stevenson. Bearcats had that sniff out. And did BC get it? They did. They come over the ball at the 45-yard line. Did he call it incomplete or did he call it... Now, Philip Simmons is saying it's incomplete. They're going to huddle up and try to make the right call. BC saying they got it. Yes, they do. That crowd absolutely deafening. Second turnover of the game. Couldn't have came at a better time, Trey. Absolutely. That was a great, great play. So if you're BC right here, just, just eat clock. That's all you need to do right here. Get, get some first downs. Keep the chains moving. Don't even worry about scoring. Just move those chains and keep that clock rolling. Iwo Jima formation, power football again. Turns around, Washington totes the mail right up the seam. Breaks a tackle, still running. And they corral him as he gets down to the 30-yard line, taking him down by the helmet. Boy, big first down for BC. And We'll wind that clock up again in a moment with 5.28 left. That was a really, really nice run there by Deshaun Watson on that play. About a 40-yard gain. Well, he's had some huge runs tonight. Absolutely. Is he taking its time now? Clock at 5.14 and moving. It'll be under five minutes when we snap the ball. Going to break the huddle right when it hits 10, and that's right now. Take your time, Brooklyn Casey. We no need to be in no hurry. Iwo Jima formation, power football, power formation, left side, Washington gets it again. Got a crease, got an open and shake and bake. He'll take it to the house. 29 yards to Sean Washington. And he'll bang it down for the Bearcats. Great job there by Deshaun Washington there. That could be a bat breaker, partner. I think it is. 
It'll be hard to come back from that deficit, and it all started with that turnover. Just took a few plays there. Bearcats on their way to facing Crestwood here at BC next weekend. Extra point attempt coming up by Mauer. Snap back, hold is good. Kick is on the way and splits the uprights with 4.51 left in the game. It's the Bearcats 34, Philip Simmons 14, back with more Bearcat football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. In South Carolina's fields, whether you're producing food or football, you'll find people of uncommon character and grit. That's why Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore supports the Bearcats and the Eagles. He sees something he recognizes in those players. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore provides protection and peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance. Give Stacy a call today to see if he can help at 803-609-5431. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore is always the home team. Call Stacy today at 803-609-5431. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit simplysouthernrealtysc.com. 4.51 left in this one. All Bearcats right now. They're leading this one 34 to 14. Huge turnover by BC and then converted on a long run by Washington. Squib kick. And going to be taken over by Phillip Simmons. Down by 20 with 4.49 left to play. This has been an unbelievable game. We've seen a little bit of everything tonight, Trey. Yeah, so this has been a very exciting football game. Two of the top teams in 3A going head to head. So this game was everything you wanted it to be. Had a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of athletes, a lot of skill position players on the field. Never in a million years would I have imagined BC would have been able to hold Phillip Simmons to 14 points so far. They average what, 45 points a game. Shotgun snap. Orlando swing pass delivered beautifully, but dropped. Pass intended for Ellington incomplete. It looks like Phillip Simmons is still trying to run that swing pass, yeah. but it's not working. And I'm telling you, Orlando's got a really he good does. arm. I've been impressed with that young man. When you're down by 20 points, you, you don't want to go horizontal. You want to go vertical. You try to get the ball deep down the field. Orlando will be back next year, but losing a lot of weapons. Pressure on the outside, dumps it off. Pass complete. Near the 40, 45, and up near midfield. Good looking play. They'll hurry up in the line of scrimmage. Good pass play to number two, Troy Winston, for a nice game there in that play. Yeah, they will use Stevenson next year, also graduating Sharon Williams and K.J. Asbury. First set of downs on 48-yard line. Shotgun snap, pressure on the outside, and they sack him. Orlando goes down. Nehemiah Daniels with a big sack for the B.C. Big time play by Nehemiah Daniels there from Brooklyn Casey. Big sack there. That's a big play, partner. Clock down to 410. I was not ready to let this season go. Absolutely. And Brooklyn Casey isn't either. <laughs> Doesn't look that way. Asbury stays in the background. Backfield for Alano. Drops back. Looking to pass. Going to be pressured again. Escapes the pocket. Looking downfield. Going to keep it. Try to run out of bounds. He does. Not sure how he's able to escape that sack. Looked like BC had him. But we talked about it earlier in it. Our keys of the game is not turning the ball over. Brink Case has done a great job on that by not turning the ball over and causing two turnovers on Phillip Simmons, which basically had been yeah. it changed the game, partner. It did. Converted them into two touchdowns. Absolutely. Been a huge difference in this ball game tonight. 34-14. Drops back. Orlando scans the field. Towards the sideline, intercepted. Nope, incomplete. Making a great break on the ball, like Boston on the outside. I tell you what, that's about two or three breakups that number six Jordan Boston has had tonight. <laughs> you can tell that guy has been laser focused. With a nice breakup. He sure has. It's been a great team win here tonight. Yes, hopefully, I don't say a win yet, but 20 point lead with 343. Hard to imagine. Well, this crowd making some noise now. 
Bono drops back. Looking downfield deep to Ellington. Ball loose. BC Downs for they're going to say incomplete. And Javon Edwards almost had a Kareem for an interception there. I'll tell you what, what a big time hit by number one Will Young with a crushing hit. And let's hope Ellington's let's okay. Hope, yes, He's yes, down sir. right here. That was a big time clear. Let's hope that kid's all right. Yeah. That was a tough hit. It was. But it wasn't a dirty, it was a good football. No, it's just good, good, hard, clean hit. They're going to tend to him. We're going to take a quick break right now. 3.37 left in this one. 34-14, your score, Bearcats. Back with more in just a moment right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. In South Carolina's fields, whether you're producing food or football, you'll find people of uncommon character and grit. That's why Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore supports the Bearcats and the Eagles. He sees something he recognizes in those players. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore provides protection and peace of mind to families through home, auto, and life insurance. Give Stacy a call today to see if he can help at 803-609-5431. Farm Bureau agent Stacy Sizemore is always the home team. Call Stacy today at 803-609-5431. Linrich Contracting is a family-run business specializing in commercial and residential construction. The Key family has been involved in the construction business in South Carolina since the 1940s. Linrich Contracting is committed to providing quality construction in an organized and timely manner. With this commitment, you can be assured that one of our owners will be on site daily to monitor progress, quality, and any issues that may arise. To find out more, visit us at linrichcontracting.com. Lynn Rich Contracting, building a better tomorrow today. Tonight's game is presented by Simply Southern Realty. To find out more, visit Simply Southern Realty SC.com. And welcome back to Bear Can Football right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Mike Hagan's Trey Jackson here with you tonight. Rex Hagan's our producer, and the Bear Can's leading this one 34 14. 337 left. Ellington appears. Good, he's able to walk off on his own strength. It's good to see that. Bear Cants with the football can run the clock out here. Turns around, toting the bell again. Washington is going to get inside the 40, right down to about the 38 yard line. I'll tell you what, I did not expect this to be 34 14, so you got to give a lot of credit to Brooklyn Casey defense. They came in with a great defensive plan, they have executed it to perfection. Great game plan by Coach Sharpie and his staff tonight. We have found our identity. Clock still rolling. 3.04 left. Are we going to get a timeout? Yes, sir. Not sure if there's an equipment issue. Looks like maybe an equipment issue on one of the Philip Simmons players. The thing is, too, partner, you, you want to be able to run a football deep into the playoffs late in the Second and third round, and Brooklyn Casey has a perfect form because they can run the football really well. Yeah. Clock starting to move again. Going to be under two and a half to play when the Bear can't snap it. I wouldn't be in no hurry. I would take my time. Clock at 2.54, still 25 seconds left on the play clock. Boy, this is going to be a monster win for BC here tonight. I don't think anybody saw this kind of prediction right here tonight. Trying to get an update for you again on Gilbert, see what their score is. It was back and forth. It was, last I saw it was tied up at 35 apiece. First down run. Washington breaks a tackle and he slunk down as he gets inside the 15. Right at the 14 gain of what, 24 yards? 24 yard gain, yes sir. He's got to be near 200 yards again tonight. Yes, sir. Tell you what, Deshaun Washington's eating up Philip Simmons' defense like he's playing Pac-Man tonight. <laughs> sure is. Philip Simmons talking about making some great strides when they opened up in 2017. They were a 2A team, then moved up after a couple of years to uh, 3A. So actually just two years ago to move to 3A. Coach Mendig has did a remarkable job with this program. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with throughout the years. Predominantly in Charleston County at Daniels Island and Johns Island. Going to take a knee right here. Clock at 150. 
Again, we'd like to give some credit to Philip Simmons and, like you said, the coaching staff and the fans here traveling all the way from Charleston about a two-hour ride. So they had a great season. And right now, start of the fourth quarter, Gilbert leading 42 to 35. What a shootout. That game is going exactly how I expected. Two high powered offenses. And a big shout out to Kaylee Watts, listening from Alabama, decorated cheerleader here at Brooklyn KC. Her dad, of course, Craig. And uh, she calls her brother, I laugh because I call my older brother the same thing. She calls her brother uh, Baby Jesus because he can do no wrong. Oh, wow. I used to, I used <laughs> to call my brother right that, too. That's old school. <laughs> yes, sir. Going to take a knee right there. And, boy, what a special night this has yes, been sir. for the Bearcats. Trey. Special night. And to be honest with you, Mike, this probably could possibly be a program win because nobody expected them to, to get this far with this team, and they're doing a good job so far. Last score I got as well, Camden leading 28 to 21 over Dillon. Wow, another good game. That could be another upset right there. Again, that's huge for BC because they can find a way to beat Crestwood next week. Uh, lower state championship would come through Brooklyn. Casey, that would imagine, be that'd just be great. unbelievable. Wonderful. 30 seconds, got to take one more knee and that should put the icing on the cake right here. In victory formation, Young takes a knee and you can wrap this one in maroon and black. The Bearcats are heading to the quarterfinals as they're going to win this one tonight. 34 to 14 over the 10 and 1 Philip Simmons Iron Horses who have had a special season. And the Bearcats for just the third time in program history have won 10 games. What a remarkable job by this coaching staff and these players tonight. And the final seconds tick off and BC wins this one. 34 to 14 here at home and get to host again next week against Crestwood. We'll take a timeout and we will come out. We'll name our player of the game and look at tonight's final stats. That's all coming up in just a moment. Right here on the Palmetto State Sports Network. Linrich Contracting is a family-run business specializing in commercial and residential construction. The Key family has been involved in the construction business in South Carolina since the 1940s. Linrich Contracting is committed to providing quality construction in an organized and timely manner. With this commitment, you can be assured that one of our owners will be on site daily to monitor progress, quality, and any issues that may arise. To find out more, visit us at linrichcontracting.com. Lynn Rich Contracting, building a better tomorrow today. Burkett Burkett and Burkett CPAs is proud to honor the memory of Horace Burkett, captain of the BC football team in 1947, and his homecoming queen, Catherine Burkett. We are grateful to our dad and mom for their many years of devotion and service to the Casey West Columbia communities, and we try every day to walk in their footsteps. If we can help you or your family with any accounting or financial needs, we will be happy to assist you. Visit our website at BurkittCPAs.com. Linrich Contracting is a family-run business specializing in commercial and residential construction. The Key family has been involved in the construction business in South Carolina since the 1940s. Linrich Contracting is committed to providing quality construction in an organized and timely manner. With this commitment, you can be assured that one of our owners will be on site daily to monitor progress, quality, and any issues that may arise. To find out more, visit us at linrichcontracting.com. Linrich Contracting, building a better tomorrow today. If you want personalized service from an attorney who cares about you, call the law offices of Beth Brenham. When you're facing some of life's toughest challenges, you want an attorney that will be by your side. Combining compassion and experience, we offer comprehensive services for your legal needs. Call Beth Brenham Law today at 803-227-3552 or visit her website at bethbrenhamlaw.com. That's bethbrenhamlaw.com. Get on the path to results today. Beth Brenham Law. Hey y'all, it's Everly. And Victoria Pichy with So Everly Perfect Photography. Your local photographer specializing in newborn, maternity, and lifestyle photography. We now offer both outdoor and private in-studio sessions. Are you looking for that perfect photographer? One that is patient and will gladly take care of every detail so that you can relax and enjoy your session? Visit So Everly Perfect Photography on Facebook and let's capture your next milestone. Message my mommy. 
Krantz Cooling and Heating was established in 1983 and is known for providing top-notch heating, cooling, and air conditioning services to the residents of Central South Carolina. We work on all makes and models of heating and air conditioning equipment. We do new installations, seasonal maintenance, routine repairs, indoor air quality enhancements, and duct work. Our team operates with integrity, transparency, and a commitment to 100% customer satisfaction. To find out more or to schedule an appointment, visit us at KrantzCooling.com. Krantz with a K and cooling with a K. Our player of the game is brought to you by the city of West Columbia. Head West, the city of West Columbia. And the Bearcats. Now with tonight's final stats and our player of the game, here is Mike Higgins and Kurt Pichy. And welcome back. Mike Higgins here with you. Kurt Pichy under the weather. Trey Jackson has been my hero tonight, stepping in last minute. And Rex Higgins producing up a storm tonight. What a special win tonight for the Bearcats. Winning this one in shocking manner, 34-14. Fueled uh, defensively by two huge turnovers that BC converted into points. And in just a moment, we're going to take a look at some stats. But I want to give some scores to you that we're keeping track of tonight. Uh, final Crestwood. 44 to nothing, so Crestwood will travel to BC next week. That game will kick off here at BC. Go ahead and buy your tickets. Go to GoFans and buy it. Or uh, tell you what, we need to pack this place next week. A huge game with a chance to go to the lower state championship. A game for the third time under Coach Sharpie, and that would be absolutely remarkable. Another score we got for you. Been a back and forth game between Gilbert and Hanahan tonight on the road in Hanahan. And right now, Gilbert is back on top, 42 35. Been hearing with my uh, buddy, uh, Mr. Conrad Leo, all night. He said, Wouldn't BC Gilbert number two be a great matchup? Would definitely love to see that Absolutely. again. Absolutely. That'd be a, definitely a great matchup on that one. But I tell you what, Trey, what a remarkable game tonight. And let's take a look at our final stats. All right, the final stats here is we have. Rushing here, uh, number two, Deshaun Washington had unofficial 24 carries, excuse me, 28 carries, 214 yards, and four touchdowns. Unreal. Number one, to do it all, Will Young, he ended up having 11 carries for 67 yards. You got to give number eight another key factor, Javon Edwards. He had five carries for 58 yards, and number five, from Brooklyn Casey, had two carries for nine yards with the total rushing yards are 349 yards. So the Brooklyn K did another good job tonight by running the football part. Again, you're talking about spectacular defense and Phillip Simmons giving up about 18 points a game. Yes, sir. So this was a huge win. BC is, again, for the third time in program history, going to win 10 games. Two of them have happened under Coach Sharpie back in 2016. That's the team that hosted Dillon here for the lower state title game. Came up short. The other one was our state championship club back in 1966. I think that team gave up like 34 points total in the season. Yes, sir. So they're in some rarefied air. And tell you what, uh, partner, I want to get your take on the player of the game tonight and who's that going to be? Absolutely. There's no surprise that he's done it again. Number two, Deshaun Washington. Again, he had 28 big time carries for 214 yards and four touchdowns. That kid deserves a state. That is unbelievable. And I want to get your final thoughts, Trey. Again, that we talked about on that third, uh, that that drive, opening drive of the third quarter. That could be a game defining drive. I think that's what it turned out to be. Absolutely, you got to give a lot of credit to Brooke and Casey and Coach Sharpie. There was a big time one today, like you said, in the third quarter. That that was a big time defining play drive there it was actually it was a 11 play drive for 54 yards so that was a big key of the game there they ended up turning that that drive into a touchdown and i think that drive there gave the team a lot of confidence and helped them get a big yeah. time and like you said to score 34 points on a team like philip Simmons, who's only giving up 18 you got to give a lot of credit Brooklyn case also Brooklyn Casey defense, those guys have been playing right side the last three or four weeks. You know, they hold a team, a high power team with two over 1,000 yard rushers here and a, and a D1 prospect to 14 points. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable, part. You got to give them a lot of credit all the way around. Yeah. Hands off to the entire team. Again, BC is going to win it tonight. Final score 34 to 14. And join us again next week. We'll go on the air at 7 o'clock with our pregame show brought to you by Burkett, Burkett, and Burkett CPAs. For our producer tonight, Rex Higgins and my broadcast partner, Trey Jackson. This is Mike Higgins. Thanks so much for listening tonight. Have a great weekend and so long.
Tonight's game was brought to you by Simply Southern Realty, Beth Branham Law, Zeus and Bailey's Pet Spa, Brickett, Brickett and Burkett CPAs, Creekside Restaurant, Lorex Auto Repair, So Everly Perfect Photography, West Metro News, Trey Bray for Casey Mayer, Working Together for Change, Lynn Ritz Contracting Company, France Cooling and Heating, Farm Bureau Insurance Agent Stacy Sizemore, and by the City of West Columbia. To check out BC football schedule and to listen to a replay of tonight's game visit our website at palmettostatesports.com you can also download our latest app on our site as well thanks for listening and have a great night